Yo, 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 YouTube Nation! Go, go look Today, for we have episode two with Siggy and Ron with Clit! Let's go! W's in the chat, man. Let's go, let's go, W! We never thought the day was gonna come. Um, you know, just. This podcast was scheduled for four weeks ago, but, you know, Clit's That's a very a busy boy. That's a lie. That's a lie. I actually wanted to do it the past two days, but, uh. So, our first episode, we had Bruce drop him off. Today, we downgraded to clicks. Now, we saw the ratings in the last video, and it was pretty good. Make sure you saw the feedback. Yep. Was Wait, do you, guys actually have, do you actually have a YouTube on this? I mean, it, the last video got like Oh, 60 funny you mention so. that. Stable Ronaldo Live! Oh, yeah, yeah, Wait, really? Out, Stable yeah. Ronaldo Live? So hey, if you, not hey, hey, chat. If you're here, say what's up. You're going to make it into the video. Everybody put hi, YouTube. Wait, you guys had a two-hour pod? Bro, it was really are, good. are you surprised? Bro, we do this, bro. It was actually fun. I'm not gonna lie, like, that's what I was gonna say. I don't know if you wanna end Wait, or you wanna where, do it on where's his, Where's his camera? Hmm? Uh, Does he not have a camera on his? Nah, well, but he's, like, he's, he's DEO. He's, yeah, that's King Bruce. Don't disrespect him. Oh, my bad. Sorry. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright. Well, clicks. Let's talk about you, bro. How's life? Well, Ron, let's talk about you, dude. No, like, oh, God, like, how's life been? Like, imagine good, it's just late at night, bro. It's just us, like, oh, God. No, a, lot of, a lot of people don't really. We just. Most of the time, we just see you on Fortnite. Maybe we'll see you do an appearance, but it's a paid sponsor anyway. Mm -hmm. So we, don't, we never get to... I feel like we don't ever get to see the real side of Clip. Mm. So, let's start, off with a, let's start off with a softball. What do you like to do in your free time? Hey, thanks, Siggy, for asking, bro. Yeah, what do you um, like? Like, on God, because when, when I met... When I saw you, remember, like, during, like, when we didn't... When I didn't stream for a while, it was, like, when I came over to Texas or whatever. You're always busy. And I actually, like, I believe you, but, like, it's, like, crazy to me. And that's kind of what inspired me to come back a little, too. Like, I'm not even kidding. Because I, like... I mean, bro, like, I'm always aww. busy, like, doing... Like, all, all jokes aside, like, start off straight, bro. Like, I, when you were telling me to come back to streaming, um... One of the big things that actually made me want to come back was how dedicated. I was talking to my manager about this. I was like, dude, I want to I want to be like how Clicks is dedicated. Like, I don't want to have free time. Like, I want to work, etc. You know? Mm -hmm. So, like, what I is... I mean, bro, that's like, that's like the only thing that, like, keeps me going. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I have free time, I get sad. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, I actually feel, like, super, like, lazy and sad. But the only time I ever have free time, bro, dude, I think basketball. Like, I deadass, like... You're gonna laugh, like, bro. I actually think that's all right. You're laughing, but like, I'm telling you right Nobody's now, nobody's laughing. Yo, I, Ron, Ron's laughing. The f bro, wait, should we go sub only chat? Right, chat, should we go sub only chat? I'm gonna do it for a little bit in my chat until like all the tards get out late at night. Trust me, it'll be like it's the podcast gonna be awkward for the first like 10 minutes, and then it's gonna you'll, you'll catch nothing's, the flow. nothing's awkward, no, but bro. you'll catch the flow state. You'll no, see, nothing's awkward. You'll see, bro. Nah, I'm loading right now. Yeah, he's got to load. Let him load. Oh, oh so he's loading. Up. Wait, so you actually play basketball? Like, dude, stream? I do. Like, like I actually, all right, I actually love playing. Like, that, that's my therapy. I'm just playing ball. But like, like where though? Do you have a up. private gym? Do you just pull up to a park? Do you do go to Lifetime? Like, what, what, what the deal? My boy has like a private court, and no, like facts. that's the. Okay, but not nah, he has a private court. When we bother, it's the best. Or I just pull up to Lifetime and ball up. Go look that's like sub. that's actually fun. And other than that, bro, whenever I have free time, I literally sit there and just sleep. It's so awful. That's one thing I need to change, Ron. You don't watch no YouTube, no TV, no, no streams, none of that. Wait, do you use TikTok? Yes, that's bad. It's so bad. Like I'm just. Is TikTok I actually the worst feel, social media? Bro, you think? I feel my like brain actually rotting every single time I just pull up on TikTok and swipe. Chad, just... Chad, do y'all think TikTok is the worst social media? Yeah. What's the best and the worst? Well, Clint, what do you what do you think TikTok should be banned? There's allegations going around that it might get banned. Us? Dude, nah, I shouldn't get banned, but like, but like it's getting banned for a different reason though. It's because like they're all stealing our info and some shit. <laughs> like I think that's what it is. But it's like so good for blowing up, like for creators who aren't even relevant. Mm. So In you, that way. So when you like when you say you have like no free time, you're sad or whatever. Oh, like, good luck for the that was kind of what I was actually gonna add on to. Like I'm actually like, genuinely curious, like. Bro, do you are you really busy like ninety percent of the day? Yeah, yeah, I was kind of busy. Go, go look for the sub. Day. But so how Did does it, how does one get to the point of being said busy as much as you or someone I mean, you're, like me? You're you're not busy majority well, of the day. Well, usually I stream and then or I wake up, I go to the gym. Cap, cap. I go to the gym. On God, I've been going every single day, almost every single day, like actually. And then I'll stream for like ten hours. Four hours. Ten hours, and then I'll go to bed. And you're busy the whole day. That's that's you being busy the whole day. Yeah, but I feel like I don't do enough. No. Okay. Is, I, no, is your schedule similar, uh, Clip? Yeah, dude. Uh, I mean, it's like wake up, usually sit in bed for like 
20 minutes, shower, go to the gym, go. Then I, when I get back, I usually get a Starbucks. I usually have a call updating on deals and shit, shit that I need to get done. And then it, it's either I get it done, respond to texts, or after the gym, I usually take like an hour nap. And then I go live for 10 hours and then I end. And, it, and as soon as you end, you go to bed? Yeah, but that's like a normal day. That's without like all like, like let's just say I got a dream drop or some shit, or like a video. Like we filmed the video like two days ago and that shit took 11 hours. Like this shit was the longest video so ever. Let me ask you film. this question. What, oh, do you, what do you do on your days off? That's a good question, Ron. I don't think there is any days off. You know that too. There's no day. Even when you have a day off, there is no day off. For sure. Like, but I'm saying, when like, you have that day off, there's still well, you. Saying, like, do you like do you play games off stream? No, dude. No, I don't play. I don't do shit off stream. Does that make you sad? Do you miss playing games off stream? Do you wish you had some free time? No, dude. No? I don't miss. I don't miss playing games, for sure. Like I feel like streaming now. It's like if I'm bro, if I'm playing, if I'm on my computer or not, I'm not streaming. Like, feels like a waste. Like yes, bro. That's that actually feels like a waste. Wait, that so how, how how old are you now? Nineteen, Siggy. How old are you? Oh, that's the podcast of the questions. We ask you the questions. Sorry, I'm nineteen years old. Yeah. But I, I say that to say, when did you actually start streaming? Because you literally been streaming since you was like in the womb, damn near. Mm. Bro, when did I? I think I started streaming like the day I turned eight, thirteen. Damn. So this is your sixth year in the game. So you basically is, a bro. vet, but you a rookie at the same time. Yeah, bro. Well, yeah. Yeah. I think I blew up. Wait, when did I blow up? I think it was 13 chat, right? Chat, am I good at Skate 3? Well, you blew up around World Cup, right? Yeah, I was 13. Yeah, bro. Nah. I had 500 viewers when I was 13, and then I peaked at like 7K when I was 14. Because, mm. no, nah, it was 2018. I started, I started I getting did... some motion. So you... Wait, this is a good question adding on to that. How old were you when you started streaming? 13? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Even though... We know, people don't know, you won Go some shit from the World Cup. You won like half a million dollars Love almost. Crazy Not tax, obviously, yet, up. but still like a lot of money. W when you dropped out of eighth grade, how the f*** did you, how, how did your parents just say, even though you were making money, like, bro, like, I actually don't know the answer to this. Like, dropping out of eighth grade. Did you have to convince them? Did they yeah, want you to dude, drop out? No, like, my mom, bro, my mom was actually so against it. Like, bro, she, bro, eighth she grade dead is ass. Crazy. No, eighth grade is insane. Every single parent was telling my dad, like, you're idiot like he needs to go to school like you can't do that to him you have no clue my mom was even the same way bro my mom even literally like said like yo like tell my dad because they were getting they were getting into a divorce and shit so they were like yo like need to like he needs to go to school and my dad just believed in me to the to the max like actually to the max and he he told them that he's gonna set up a whole entire school and get tutored and shit which he did i was in online school and tutoring for a year and a half um and like then eight, after that is that is that like your social skills you think Dude, I feel no. like you need really. I feel Bro, like when you're friends with Eric Raz, like in your whole entire life. No, I'm not even. Oh. I'm being straight up. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, here we go. Oh, are we just being real? Like, yeah. all right, I thought it's a pod. <laughs> like, what am I gonna like? I'm not gonna lie. Like, no, that, that, that just means flippers get, get ready. Right, flippers get ready. Oh, you want me to? I could be PR trained right now, bro. And I. Well, no. I That's what I'm saying, bro. That's his allegations. Now I don't support, of course. But, bro, like I was friends with him since I was like a little ass baby. So, like, bro, when he was in high school. Like he'd be a, like popular kid, and he would have every single party at his house, like so all the time. And he would so invite he kinda, me every like, you. Well, not nah, groomed, bro. not literally, but you nah, know, he, like... he made sure he made sure I didn't hit that level of like loserish. But I was think... a loser for a year, bro, for sure. Do you think? Wait, when? When were you a loser? COVID days and the box fight days. Ron knows, bro. When I was talking to like Vegas and shit, like yo, that was actually like max loser. Like I was yeah, fat. I, I didn't know how to talk him, to but, people. I mean, it was harder though to talk to you because, and I think that's why we. I wouldn't, a lot of people don't know this. I mean, this is very honest. A lot of people in the chat don't know. Me and Clicks have always been really close. I mean, mm -hmm. I think he can add on to this, but we stopped talking for a good bit. It wasn't more yeah. of like, we're forcing to stop talking or we both thought each other were weird. It was more like, I think there was just a maturity difference at one point. And I think we both knew it. I'm not saying I was more mature than you or you were more mature than me. I think it was just, we were on two different levels. You were doing your own thing when I quit Fortnite. I yeah. was not, or when I quit Fortnite, you were doing your own thing and like, I think it was a much needed thing though. I think it unironically, like as cliche as it seems, brought us together a lot better because I mean, bro, you matured a lot, I matured a lot, and then like it That's kind true. of felt more real. So like I don't think like your social skills are, are ever that bad. I just think just... I think now my social skills are definitely the best. Oh yeah, it's for like... sure. Well you gotta remember like this. Both of y'all grew up uh streamers and you grew up on the internet, especially Clit. I'm talking about thirteen years old. Bro, most people aren't even in puberty when they're thirteen. So the fact that's that true. you had to basically grow up online with fame, with money, with 
with everything you ever wanted. That shit was hard though. Like, like, like you bro, can't like, expect people to, say, like, everybody to be perfect. Go good luck That's true. Yourself. That's true. You definitely missed out on so much. Like, I definitely missed out on all that experience. But at the same time, I was still going to parties. I was still doing all of that. But do you regret bro, I, not going to high school? The thing is, bro, I. Forget about I do. Let's say you made yeah, yeah. I, I, let, 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 no. Fuck the money, fame. Let's say it didn't work out. Would you be like, oh damn, I should have went to high school? Mm. Let's say you were wealthy. You were fine. You were always gonna be fine, but you didn't get to go to high school. Do you? Do you wish you had the high school experience? Because most people won't go to college. But but the thing is, like, I don't know what the high school experience is. I can't say yes to that. Cause I don't even. I don't know how much different it would my life would be if I had a high school. Way, you know what I'm saying? The way I would say high school experiences is like. Just like around with your friends, just enjoy. Like it's just a lot of shit. It's like careless. Friends. Yeah, it's just like you enjoy what you're doing, and like for me, I was never gonna go to college. Were, were you ever gonna go to college even before this? You think? No, or? no, I was just gonna be a plumber with my dad. Mm. I was, that was like actually for what I was gonna do my whole life, just be a plumber. Okay. When, when did you come to that realization? You were like, Fuck it. if this, like, even before Fortnite, you were like, I'm a plum. Were you like 12, 11? Damn, bro, this is hitting. You don't say that. Yeah, no, I was getting deep in my thoughts right the there. Like, well, well, spit it out. This is what the pot is for. Nah, bro. Like, imagine I was a plumber, like, in making 100 k a year. Oh, whoa, all right. Whoa, no, whoa, listen, whoa, listen, whoa, whoa, listen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clippers, listen. get ready. Clippers, Clippers get, get ready. ready. All right, bro. Okay, listen. Let me talk, bro. Plumbers make a lot of money. Like, plumbers make a. All right, bro. I can't be real. I'm actually gonna end stream. I can't be real. So then, I'm gonna end. What? End bro, no, be kids, real, bro. Dude. Bro, this is your life. Alright, Ron, bro. Ron, be straight up right now. Be straight up right now. Be straight up right now. When you, let's just say you go and make 80k a year next year. Yep. Okay. You're, go you're gonna be this. sad. Okay. It, no, sad, beat that ass. Don't sad. even, no, be no, fucking no, that's that true, that's true, that's true. Okay, so aside, let me explain, bro. let me explain. So, during Switchboard 2023, uh, when I lost everything, not everything, but when I lost, I was losing more than I was gaining. Um, I paid Less than a thousand average viewers. That's than a thousand average viewers. Uh, nobody knows this. Uh, I had 200k out of my pocket gone. I will not explain why. One day I will. Um, I was losing money on my apartment. Um, and not a, not a lot of money was coming in. I was fat. I got broken up with across the country mm. from my family, living alone. A lot of people would have quit, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I but, feel like you did for a minute. No, I did, and I was super depressed, really sad, on the verge of suicide some nights. But then I said. And I said, why would I kill myself? Um, that's some first. I, I honestly believe, real talk, this is going to add on to the pod. I think you kill yourself. I'm sorry. This is a hot take. I think it's a shitty thing to do because you put on another person. You put on your family. You it's put so on your... selfish. It is very yeah. selfish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see that. Um, I think it's extremely selfish. And I think, unironically, people are going to say it's cliche, but I think there's always a better side to things. And you realize that once you go through it. I feel like every yeah. man, every man needs to go through failure to understand meaning of life and that's now you're and to, be, and to be grateful man. for success when it comes dude now because it's gonna come um no yeah what we were saying though adding what were we talking about the main point because i wanted to add on to it how about how quick 80k, 80K, 80K years, years. Right. yeah so when i wasn't making, so if you made 80k so listen, a year listen, listen, listen i was losing money i'll be honest i'm very open about money bro i make mm. amazing money before that i made seven figures a year oh weird flex i'm open about it it was open it was public to the bro everyone saw how much i made on twitch it got leaked. It got leaked. It was public. I made really good money. Really mm. good money. And I'm grateful for it. I'll always be grateful for it. But if you lose, one, forget the money. Let's say I made $100,000 a year, right? When you lose one-tenth of that, or uh, nine-tenths of that, and you only have one-tenth, you would be sad. It it's not about the number. It's not about the number. Exactly. Like, if, exactly. Like, if I made a million dollars a year, and the next year I make 100 k Yes, 100k is amazing amount of money. It's amazing. It's phenomenal. It's literally above like I don't know what percentile it is. It's but that's not a lot of money for you. No, it, it's <laughs> let me finish. No, no, no. Let okay, me finish, okay. Let me finish. Just shut your mouth. But You're being PR trained. No, I'm not. But it, it, bro, the only reason I say it's not a lot of money is because during 2023, I made around 100 thousand dollars, and I was very upset, not with the money. With the fact that I knew what I could do to get more money, and I was failing myself. So when I, when I wasn't making money, yeah, it was depressing. It's the comparison. But I also realized that, like, I have to be grateful for, like, everything, you know? Yeah. Like, I realized yeah. that, like, even when you're sad about it, like, it sounds so PR, but it's the truth. I, I, I do, like, I agree I would be sad if I lost, yes. If I went from making a million dollars to 100K, sure. This can get taken out of context, I would be more sad. I wouldn't be depressed because I can still live my life. But it's just, it's the comparison. Will you be doing something wrong? Like, it's not even about the money. It's, it's about, like all right. It's about the, how, how, 
You go it's from like, here like to here in a year. Job, you work yeah, it's job. about the progression. Analogy, Siggy, I've got a great analogy. You work, right, go ahead. you work at a job for three years, right? You went from making $17 an hour, they give you $24 an hour, whatever, right? And then next year, they lower it back down to 17 You would be depressed, right? It's just, it's the same shit. It's like you lose what you... Yeah, no, it's about the, that, it's, that, that the money don't money. matter. It's about the progression in the trend. Like, oh, am I growing or am I not growing? And if you go from yeah. a mil to a hundred k, bro, you basically like lost it all. Not all of it, but you know. That yeah. doesn't mean we're not grateful for, shit, for the people yeah, for the people saying that, bro. Like, because I'm grateful. Because it's the opposite. Fuck. If like for example, it's the opposite. If I made twenty k last year and this year I made fifty k, oh, I'd be over the moon because I over doubled what I made last year. It's yeah. not about the fifty k or the hundred k or a mil. It's about how am I growing year over year? Yeah. And frankly, bro, what adding on to what Siggy said, it's it's not about the money. It was more or less like adding on to that. Like I would compare to what I did the year before that. I was like, what the f am I doing? I know I can do the same shit. Why am I not doing it? And I'm like, wow, I'm not doing anything. You, it's like, yeah, you lose your growth, bro. And it, it sets you back. It makes you feel sad. Yeah, that's that. But um, adding on to what but, you were saying before. Yeah, go ahead, Siggy. But drawing that to click, though. So yeah. like you said, you've been streaming since you was 13. Every streamer, every YouTuber, it doesn't matter who you are, there's highs and lows, peaks and valleys throughout your career. Now, Clip, pretty mm -hmm. much, from what I know, and correct me if I'm wrong, out of the six years now that you've been streaming, unlike a lot of other streamers, and chat can vouch for this, no go unless I'm wrong, sub. there's basically been no breaks throughout the whole six-year career while you're growing up as a teenager. You're not even 20 years old yet, you're still a teenager. He had one what? break. I it's, been, it's been one one month break when I met my yeah, ex girlfriend. One, yeah, he had a. You could but add on stay to one month in six years. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. What yeah. motivates oh, you to keep right. pushing? Is it, oh, I want to be the best Fortnite player because obviously your streams are Fortnite and you're a pro? Or is it like, oh, I, I, the money, the pushing, or what it, What motivates Honestly, you to keep every day? Never, it's never the money. Like, I just want to say cap, bro. Like, I went, this year has been my best year by far compared to oh, last yeah. year and all that. But it's not like you oh, go money. It's look at. Okay, it's it's more of like, you look at like, how good you're doing within, like for example, like my goal was number one Fortnite streamer. And like, that was my goal ever since a little ass kid when I was like 13. So now the past three years, where I'm literally the number one for the past years. Why am I gonna take a break when I have, respectfully, the Fortnite community by the balls? And that's why I'm not quitting now. And that's why I don't think I'll quit until it's a perfect time where you actually quit. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Why? If I, I, I could leave Fortnite behind right now, but we know Fortnite's a game where, bro, they're going to come back with something crazy and everyone's going to be on this shit again. Just like they did with the OG season. We saw it last season year. Exactly, bro. It's, look how Ron came up. Transparently. Transparently. No, no, no. Ron, Ron was grinding his... Gr no, no. It's Siggy, bro. Like, oh. Ron was, like, grinding again, but that OG season, when I told him, he's like, oh, should I come back? His whole chat's saying, no, don't go back to OG season. I'm like, dude... You know yeah. Go back to OG season. This is how you're gonna hit the next level. And now, now you're averaging your viewers from that OG season, but now they're part of the state community, and you can do mm -hmm. IRL. Mm -hmm. and they don't, they don't about well for it's, no more. Uh, you know, it's obviously your podcast, but we did the same shit with Bruce. Just talking in general, it's, it is crazy to me that like, bro, I barely touch Fortnite. Like today was like the first time I touched Fortnite from longer than like an hour, and mm -hmm. bro, my viewers just like, bro, they watch me for me now, and it's like. It's, it's amazing, and it's like, it, the, the coolest thing to me is the fact that I can play shit while everyone is live. Like, yeah. that was my biggest thing, is I used to, I used to, I wouldn't not go did, live. Did you, did you, be honest, did you use to stream, or a uh, shift snipe? No, I actually didn't, so I've talked about this before. The reason, so shift snipe, <laughs> to anyone who doesn't know, is basically, I, going live Makes you when, do that all the time, a, dude. So, I'll tell I'll explain it. It's going live when no one else is live. So let's say Kai's not live, Jinx is not live, Clix is not live, XUC is not live, I'd be like, oh! I'm going to go live because I'm going to get the most viewers. I think it's the opposite. And the reason I think that is because, one, when everyone's live, you pop up in the recommended. So those viewers, when they get an ad or when they're bored, they'll be like, oh, who else is live right now? They'll see uh, an example. I'm live, right? And those people that are in my stream, those are my loyal community. Those are people who watch me for me when everyone is live. And the only way to build that is to stream while everyone else is streaming. And I don't I disagree. think... No, I, I think for maybe a small creator, yes, but for a mid-sized creator at the, at the time when I was doing it, like, yes, I, bro, I like streaming when everyone else was streaming because it literally made me realize, like, oh, these are my real viewers. These are people who me. Like, uh, you know, 
let's let's think of it the top streamers at the top of my head. Don't start naming some. I'm just thinking at the top. Ready? Like XQC, Clicks, Jinxy, uh, Kai, Queso, uh, you know, like like Jason, whatever. Like in my community, like Jason, like people who who originally would build viewerships, right? Like I would go live because I feel like it's good. I don't know. I I think that way. I like it. Dude, I, never, I mean, I never how, how I it. how I blew up though. That's why, like, you're 100 percent right. That's how you have your core community and what, who's really fucks with you. But bro, I would go live when Symphony gets off, and all of Symphony viewers would go to my chat, and they would just f me heavy. And that's how I built my community. Right. Was by was by but doing you, so that. Shit. You were, but you were live before then, right? Right before he ended. Yeah, I was live the whole entire time. But oh, so when I would you, make sure. So when I would stream and I would stream while everyone else is live, guess what? Let's say Jinxie's live that day. Ready? His viewers. Let's say a hundred of them come to my chat. That's a hundred new people. And then Clix is streaming that night. He ends. A hundred of his viewers come in. Uh, Kai ends. A hundred of his. You know what I'm saying? It adds up. It's like if I'm yeah. live when everyone else is live, it's like you know people are gonna come in, and that's what I think is like building your community because it's like everyone already knows like like like. Like who you are, like a name maybe. Not everyone, but a lot of people know like my name, but they won't watch me, right? It's the same thing with you. Yeah. A lot of people know who you are, but they don't watch you. Yeah. It's yeah. like That's true. I don't know. I think it's the way to build your community. Maybe not off the bat. But yeah. So how yeah. would you build your community clicks if you were to start new? If you were to start from zero zero viewers, let's say you weren't even good at Fortnite. Let's just say you were like, Oh, I want to be a streamer, sure. I see all these people. What do I how would I restart? What advice would you give to a new person? Dude, the thing is is like you can't like you can't give advice when you never went like through that. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, the the one thing that I would do is TikTok is the only way to blow up or the clicks method, bro. Like, bro, Lacey's method was like a method that everybody tried, and and he that ass that shit blew him up so big, bro. And TikTok, bro, is just huge. If you have one viral clip on TikTok, you'll gain like what a hundred viewers, respectfully. If you're like hey, zero bro. viewers, okay, payphone's crazy. I'm just but, saying, like, a dude, one viral clip is all. No, during, literally. During when I sang payphones, I, uh, I remember I was with Ops, I had 100 viewers. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. weekend, I think, like, when it started going viral, I had, like, 500. Yeah, that's, like, that's how you just keep on going up. But, bro, to answer your question, it's so yeah, difficult to, to explain people, how, like, how to blow up when you did it a way that... Like, me and Ron blew up in, what, 2018? Every single thing was different. Yeah. Every single thing was different Streaming now. is so different. Right now, I it's, feel it's like... Hard. It's hard. It's hard no, I'll be honest, to blow up. It's so, super oh yeah, there's way more competition. Well, it's that and like, obviously no, not shots at anybody. Before we, I say this, I already know Clicks knows what I'm gonna say. Not shots at anybody, but like, bro, like, I feel like nowadays it's very clip based to get big, right? The way like we came up, I would say we had clips, but it wasn't like we f like tried to go for it. It just happened, you know. So nah, I'm not gonna lie. The OG method was getting on them Fortnite plug pages on yes, YouTube. Yes, literally. Yes. OG that's, clip farm. That's what I'm, yes, that's what I'm, but that's what I'm saying. We would always just play the game, and it would get posted. You know, I feel like it's not a bad thing to quote unquote farm clips. By the way, at all, I don't think it is. It's content. By the end of the day, it's literally at the end of the day, content is content. Good content will always prevail. It'll always get big, right? So it's like. My opinion, adding on to what you're saying, I feel like it's... Oh, I feel like you have to clip a lot now, you know? Yeah, bro. You have to I go guess. for something viral. And it's well, well, yeah, not, every, not everybody has eight hours to sit in a right. clip stream right. and watch. Yeah. No, you definitely do need to do... Go crazy. It's very... Not act like yourself and I, just like... I was going to say, it's very less genuine now. It is. It is. But that's why you have people who have been in the game who just chill, like... You know, like what you do, you play Fortnite, you do your thing with your community, and then you do whatever you want after Fortnite. Me, I just, I like streaming just to stream, bro. That's why I quote unquote fell off exclamation mark 2023. It's because I literally just did my own thing. You yeah. know? So it's like. Yeah, yeah. Real, sure. my last take on that for CES, another question if he has one. Real beats fake always. I think viewers nowadays can sense when a streamer is fake. Long term I, for sure. Oh well, yeah, definitely long term. I, I think yeah, I was gonna say I think a random viewer, doesn't matter how old they are, they can tell when someone is not genuine, when they're faking and bro, once one person catches on, it's only a matter of time until everyone does. But that's oh. the thing too though. As a yeah. creator, you wanna have a long career, right? Because right. but when you play a persona and like let's say you're thirteen and you grew, you grew up watching Clit, now you're eighteen, you're watching Clit, you're like, oh, why could all this corny shit that he was doing back then? It'll work on me now, so I'm not gonna watch. Right. But mm -hmm. if he was always himself, then it'll be like, oh, I'm just growing with clit. Mm -hmm. 
Which yeah. what a lot of people is, because a lot of people that watch you, I'm sure, are around your age. I think we've always been ourselves to the max, that's bro. That's one exactly. thing that, like, I love is, bro, we, we always just so mess close. around and... No, that's true. Like, from the start, bro, we, we just did our thing. Didn't really fake anything, bro. I don't think I've ever faked a single thing in my career. Whoa. There definitely was points for... I... Actually, I don't know. Really? Ziggy, I don't Ziggy, think I, so, bro. At the top of my head, what if... I really don't think I've ever faked a single thing. Bro, even like, like the, people think like uh, this is a good one that people think unknown was, shit. Yeah, bro, that's full chat, real. Chat that unknown army shit. Oh, like the original shit. That shit was real. I he swear was, to he God, he was weird. He was that, weird. I'll be honest. That beef was weird. Like, it was a real thing. Like, fake the Fortnite relationship. Never fake that shit. Somerset, mother's life actually liked me a lot and wanted to go on dates <laughs> and shit. Bro, Clippers, she Clippers literally said that, that publicly. That. No, I, I yeah, that shit was not fake. And low key, like sometimes I call feelings shit. But yo, I was just doing my thing. Aww. It wasn't. No, bro, like, people think all that shit's fake. It was never fake. So, speaking like, of feelings, getting your first girlfriend, how old were you when you got it? Because it's during your career. Yeah. You're saying, like, real girlfriend? Well, yeah, well... Like, not no, like, Vegas type... You, you don't gotta say no names. You don't gotta say no names. Yeah, that was your real girlfriend, I thought. No? I mean, it was, but, like, it was when I was a kid, Didn't but now it's, like... did you say you took like... a break because of that? No, I took a break because of the, cause oh. the other one. Yeah. We don't that was that. if you don't want, by the way. I was just curious. No, no, no I don't care. I don't care. That, that, was, that was the realest one. Well, I'm sure I'm sure dating for you must be hard because, like we said, you're young. Pretty you're not. Nice. You're not. Okay. You're young. You're rich. You're famous. Everybody wants to date you, right? How? How? What? What struggles do you go with while you're trying to look for a partner to pursue? Dude, that's like the realest question ever, and like people don't even talk about that. It's hard, dude. Like it's really hard because most girls you hit up, number one, think you just want to because you're like because you have those followers because of like all of that. They dead ass don't think you're genuine at all. Or they talk to you on a different level. They, they talk to you like you're above them. And I hate that. I hate when I talk to a girl and they instantly just talk to me like I'm already above them. And there's only one reason why. It's because the followers and the money. They instantly think that. Yeah. So it's, bro, it's so hard to actually find a girl so, that could look at you as Cody and not look at you off of the shit that you do. So, like, what's your vetting process then? Like, how do you how do you differentiate, like, a random bop versus, like, oh, I can see myself, you know, building with this person? Dude, I that's a good question, bro. I mean, any girl you find at the club is a random bop sure oh you bet the club so so hypothetically <laughs> like seriously when if you want a girlfriend right now what are your like green flags where you're like damn like this girl doesn't care about x y and z whatever the f i actually can i can i can read this girl like she's cool like she, you know the that. thing is though it's just it doesn't really it's not even about the girl and how good they are because like bro it's more about me like recently it's just like I can't do it. Like I, I'm in this position where it's like, bro, like, I'm so does locked in on sad? myself. It does, bro. It does. Like it actually does. Like I feel like a kid, just not like, just focusing no. on myself. Like I'm gonna be honest, I'm selfish. Like I will, I prioritize my craft okay as in like, as in like my like what I've developed since I was a kid, over every one. Like that's why it's so hard to talk to people in my life on a personal level. Because you're just locked in on that clicks. Bro, because clicks and Cody are two different people. Mm. And Devon, you could say the same thing too. You mm. on stream, you're, you're, you're the same person. You're the same person on stream as you are off stream. But you're not that personal self who's going through those issues. That you, you, there's issues that you go through that you could never tell your stream. Same with me. I'm going through a lot of personal yeah, you know. shit right now. Like my, bro, a lot of security shit going on right now with my family. But I can't say that's my stream for the past couple weeks. Like it's been terrible. But that's like the Cody shit where nobody really knows about and, and they think everything's always good because you're making so much money and so much, so much like clout and fame and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but back funny. to the dating shit, bro. You can talk. Sorry. No, I was going to like, go ahead. I was just going to say like, I'll say something. That's the same shit that happened with me. Siggy knows, you know, like when I had all this shit happen to me, I mean, it's very open out there when I got broken up with. That was some of the hardest shit because I had community shitting on me. Why am I not streaming? Like, bro, I had so much negative shit happen. I hate to make it about me, but like, bro, it was just, it was, it was really difficult. So yeah, I yeah. agree. Like, Dude, I, could, I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't I tried so bad to help you, bro. Yeah, and I couldn't, but bro, I you couldn't, can't. I couldn't tell anyone. Like, I just felt, I felt trapped, bro. And like, it was really just a shit. I'm not going to talk about it because I, I genuinely don't give a shit about it. But like, bro, it was just a shit. It was just terrible. It was really. No, that's how, that's how it was for me, too. I'll be honest. Well, Clay, you talk about, oh, I feel like I'm being selfish and whatnot, but it's really not being selfish because to put it like this, if you want to be successful at anything in life, whether that's mon money, relationship, whatever, being a father, whatever, you're going to have to sacrifice something. But doing Maybe, that with it, a girl it, is so f difficult, bro. Like, it depends, though. Not with everyone says they could yeah, do that Siggy, shit. Siggy, in Siggy, remember, 
Maybe all girls are immature. Uh, not woman. Mm -hmm. Like a real woman? Never know, bro. But you know like, dude, saying? I'd be any stream. A stream. real woman would understand your craft. A real woman would respect what you're doing. And there's, they're not those type of girls that just want attention and they get upset if you don't give them attention, you know? I think maybe you just you haven't... I'm not saying I can't speak for you, but maybe you haven't been around a real woman. Yeah. Well, no, but, but that's the thing. We're we're all we all agree that a real woman is the best thing. But that's the thing. When you're in Cliff's position, even trying to find that person, it sacrifices a bunch of time no that he could be putting towards his stream and his business and all that. But that's why no, I that's think, true. I think you let it happen naturally. If the woman, I, I think searching. But the natural a... shit to make a girl actually like you and to make and to, and to keep on hanging it off. That's you're you're going on dates. You're talking to them. It's it's the like I'm saying, it's a let talking it, phase. Let it come to you naturally. Meaning like. Bro, you never know. But it's not going to come to you when you're streaming 10 hours a day and doing all your shit. It's not. Well, it's not. Yeah, but like, there's no. I don't see do nothing wrong with when, that, bro. You're 19 you no years old. Life. Yeah, but the thing is, bro, is like. It's a lot of people. Not, it's a lot of people. Like, <laughs> no, XP. Real, real, real. Nah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Like, all right, you random girls are not gaining ex experience. I'm saying going on like, dates with all these girls, figuring out what you don't like, what you do like. I don't know. I, I don't want to talk too deep into it, but like, bro, I've. I don't know. I can't speak for you. Like, I don't know if you. Oh, go get deep, bro. I don't know if you go around sticking your women. I've never done that. I've. I've heard some stories. You have not, because I've had. No, not you. I'm talking about Cliff. Kissed three girls. One of them was two seconds, freshman year of high school. Another one was, like, seven seconds, sophomore year of high school. My girlfriend at the time. That's it. So yeah, I don't know how di I don't know how different that is for you, but. Yeah, I know. I'll be honest, it's, it's definitely a lot different for sure. Yeah, that's I, what feel I, was like, say. I, feel that, like... I think that's what could also make you. I wouldn't say sad is the right word, but it could make you like you know be like you're searching for something, you know. Yeah, I think the last. I think this patient. year, this year has been like the one year where it's like, I really don't do like. I'm not like a, I right, don't I'll know be straight up, bro. Seconds, bro. Like that New All Jersey know, shit. Like I was just like the biggest hoe. Like I'll be straight up. Like I was literally just <clears throat> getting with like the baddest girls. I'll be straight up. I'm not even gonna cap. Like that's just how it was, bro. For like the whole two years in that phase. Of like 16 17 and 18 and to be honest like bro my girlfriend cheating on me three times like that like me up hard like i'll be honest yeah, and it made it me think that up. like the only way to get over that is to have better to have better to, to find a better girl bro and like that's kind of the shit that i fell into bro and and again oh I mean, but but you thought that was a solution do you think it was do you think it helped um i do i do think it helped to an extent I'll be honest. I do, but I also got cheated on. It's different. Yeah, it's like yeah, if you yeah, if you break up with a relationship and nobody cheats, okay, yeah, you, then, you got that then rage like, in you. and you fucking random girls, that's not gonna help get over. But I'm saying if you got cheated on literally and cheated another dude, and you're over here getting with a batter girls and like, hey, sure, brother, that's gonna help you distract. That's toast, gonna help you distract. Him. Toast that. It's been a year and I haven't, I haven't fucking touched in my life. <laughs> Ever since. But it, it, in in and you're over that though because yeah. it wasn't like because any I, of that bullshit, I let bro. it. I let it. I let time do its thing, bro. Time is a real thing. It's hard, though. I, that way, I'm gonna bro, be honest, bro. It is, it is crazy hard, especially someone who hasn't gone through. Bro, Siggy, how many nights was I calling you, literally crying? Bro, it was, only, it was only a couple nights, but you were sad all the time. Literally, like yeah. there's moments where I like, bro, Siggy knows everything. We've talked about this the last time too. I mean, I'm open to talk about it again, but it was just like, it was bad. You know, some two clicks when I would call you and I'd be like, bro, what the are you doing? I mean. The thing is, I'd give you the best advice, but when you're in that space, and I could vouch too, you don't listen to anyone. After I got cheated on, I'll be honest, I went back, and bro, I got cheated on again. And you still will not listen to anybody because you're convinced and manipulative in your mind that sure. she's better and she's gonna work and, and, and all this shit, bro. And that's if the worst thing ever. they wanted to, they would. Mm, that's the first mm. quote of the night. First quote of the night. Or, or they just don't know. Nope. If they want, bro, boy, girl, woman, man, if they wanted to, they would. Realize, realize. Stop, stop, stop. All right, all right, all right, cut that shit. Realize. Cut that shit, cut that shit. But I mean, it's natural that every human wants a companionship. That's like one of the, it's biologically instilled with us. But there's a difference between being alone and feeling alone. Just because you're, you're alone in the moment, you live alone or whatever, that doesn't mean, oh, I should go get a girlfriend. Oh, I need to go home. Like, it's not like that. It's lonely it's, though, it's bro. Up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it real. But it's good. It's lonely, dude. Bro, when X moved out, like, dog, and now that Lacey's moved out, like, dude, it's, it is lonely as to be real. Because it's like, dude, you're not talking to, yeah, I'm talking to a screen right now. As much as I'm talking to my homies and my stream and shit, like, it's not an in real life social interaction, bro. And it's like, when you live alone, you, you just don't be getting that shit ever, to be honest. You know what I'm saying?
sure. So it, it it's lonely for sure. That's, that's true. I mean, I mean, bro. It's when I moved to LA, I was alone for a long time. It it sucks, especially when you go through shit that nobody knows. It's like it is a f situation. But did being alone? Oh, look for the sub. Think benefit Oh yeah. You? Oh, f that dude. That shit matures you so much, bro. It's like not only live alone, just to like experience different things. Like, bro, I think moving out helped me so much. Like moving to my first Jersey thing, Jersey house made me like move on from everything in Connecticut, bro. Before that, I couldn't move on from any of like those relationships and, and all that and become a better person. But I think moving in like, like being an uncomfortable situation is how you build like a another like version maturity, of yourself. Yeah, yeah sure. dude. Yeah. Do you think, what do you prefer? You think as of right now in your life, do you prefer being at home or do you prefer going out type of guy, you know? Mm. Homebody? I mean, bro, I don't really go out too much. I, I like, I stay in. Um, but like, bro, a night where you're going out with the homies is a night like where it's just everyone's vibes are just amazing and you sure. have a good night. Like those nights sub. are needed, I feel like, once a month. Once oh, a yeah, month. definitely. Like that in moderation, just, yeah. Bro, it, it's so needed. Well, when you say um, go out with the homies, what does that entail? Like, putt putt? Or like, what, what do you be doing when you go on these outings? Hypothetically. Hypothetically, going to the club, just having like 20 people with you and just like all having a good time. And uh, and then after, just go back to the apartment and just all vibe and just like getting deep talks and just chill, dude. And then you wake up the next day and you're back on the ground, you know what I'm saying? And then you don't, you don't do much. I feel like that shit, you know? Okay. Um, yeah. I have a question, but I don't know how I would word this because I don't. Not 20 friends, Chad. I have like probably five real friends in Dallas, but when you go out, it's like. You, There's you associates. Bring, yeah, you bring girls to look good. I'm gonna be tra tra transparent. Were you ever the type? You can answer this if you want. I don't know how this. Obviously, like I want you to answer the truth, but like I don't know if it'll affect you. Were you ever the type to smoke weed at all? Oh. Um. I don't know if you should or not, but I'm just curious. I I was never the type to. I did it a couple times in my life, but that's it. No, I definitely I definitely did it a couple times in my life, but it's not like a, it was never like a phase where I'm doing it all the time. Right. It's more of like when I need an idea, like really bad I, i'll smoke just just for that idea but i don't think i've i probably smoked less than 10 times in my whole entire life That's the same it's not something that i enjoy it's something where it's like bro i need a like for example that exit like bro i low-key just like i was with my friends and like all right and i we, we kept on bouncing off it's not ideas bad. It's not bad. with each other it's also like yeah lacy i did it with lacy and Oop. and um with a couple other friends oh wait no it wasn't in texas we're good um yeah bro our ideas for that exit video was Amazing. Yo, chat. I'm going to end stream if you guys don't cancel out. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to end stream. Like, actually, you guys are being little ass kids. Um, I'm sub but, only. Yeah, I'm not sub only. It's like, bro, like, it, I'm being real. Like, the fuck? Shut up. Um, I don't smoke weed. I, I, but now I just glass of wine in Mexico. But still, me and Lacey and uh, Landon and a couple other you, friends, bro. Same thing when you drink, bro. They said that you were drunk. Like, bro, chat, this doesn't... If they want to see drunk, I'll show it now, playing. Like, bro, that, that one night in Berlin, dude, it's just like, you have a glass or two of wine, you're just more of a relaxed than, um, like, drunk. Like, to get drunk, you need so much, dude. Um, dude, it's crazy. I'm such a lightweight, I'll be honest with you. Like, bro, I, I had a, what is the coffee one called? Uh, uh, what is it called? Oh my god, martinis? Yeah, espresso Fuck. martini, I had yeah, it yeah. two weeks ago. When I was in Boston with you, like you weren't there, but it was with my manager. And I kid you not, I drank half of it. It was the first time I drank <laughs> like a lot, but I had ha I was, I was like really buzz and I hated it. That was the first time I've ever got like buzz. I've never been drunk a, my, a day in my life. Ever. Really? Never been drunk a day in my life. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't even drunk in Germany. Like I was, I was tipsy, but like that level is just chill. I think the one level where you get like, where shit starts getting dizzy is the worst. Like that shit, you're like, all right, like I'm, I'm on. But the level before that is, I feel like, the best feeling. Yeah, it's nice to have a drink or two. It's calm. But I'm more of like a wine. Like, if I'm drinking normal shit, it's just like that. I don't really like that too much unless it's out a of the night country, out. of course. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't. I'm talking about when I went to Germany. But yo, like a glass of wine, which, dude, Ron, I think I need to put you on, bro. And if you like it, you like it, you don't. I'm telling you right now, that I shit. I was told if you ever go on a date, this is by my manager. Shout out, Justin. He said, if you ever go on a date with a girl, make sure to get a bottle of wine. Yep. Never ask yep. never ask for small cups. Get the bottle. 
Um, and I forget what kind he told me to do, but it's, I think it's, uh, red... Red one? <clears throat> Might be. Yeah, red one's the best, I'm gonna be honest. But like, dude, that shit, it's just so relaxing, I'm gonna be honest. Something. But, uh, you never ask cups, that's for, uh, you know, the bottle. And you might not have money, but... It's like well, you can get cheap wine. Yeah, the Gleeker, you're wine a girl. is expensive. But I think, dude, I think like when when once you hit like thirty dollars wine, a thirty dollars wine is the same as like a hundred dollars. I'm telling you, bro. Well, I don't know. I don't drink, but I would drink if I was on a date with a woman. Um, so my question is, adding on to this, because this is actually, I was gonna say like I don't want to talk about me, but this to add on to what question I'm about to ask, I looked at my manager as a father figure. Uh, you know. Aww. Well, no, I mean I don't even know if he knows that. But, um, you know, I he doesn't know. Look for the sub. <laughs> Sorry. But, like, you know, I didn't have a dad really growing up as much as I needed. Mm. And he, like, guided me a shit ton. Um, growing up for you, you know, I don't know how much you want to speak on this. How was, you talked about this. You said your parents were divorced. How was that? Yeah, bro. It was, um. You know, anyone who's got their parents divorced trying to do shit. Yeah, you're not alone. It's a very, very common thing. Dude, in the divorce thing, when it was happening, bro, like, I was a little ass kid. I was, like, probably, like, I think I was, like, 10 or 11. It was hard, bro. It was definitely hard seeing them like actually split and seeing the arguments happen in front of my face of like seeing your parents actually yell at each other, like real yelling and getting mad. And you're just sitting there just watching it. And it's just, it actually breaks you. You just instantly start tearing up, dude. And that's definitely how it was for me. Um, but you know, they're, they're cool now, like, of course, but it was, uh, it was hard. It was hard, but Fortnite saved me like no cringe shit. Not only Fortnite, but I'm saying video games in general. I was playing CSGO with my brother every single day for 10 hours. Um, oh, yeah. and like that shit, we would like, when my parents would be arguing, we just put shit, CS bro. together, Black me and my brother. Saved me. The same shit. Like, like that shit, it was how like I escaped my parents going through it. And, um, yeah, bro, that shit, that shit was hard. Um, and now it, it's still now, bro. It's, it's hard. It's like my dad, like, oh, it's just me, my dad, my sister, my brother and my brother's girlfriend. Like that's literally it when it's like my dad's holidays. I'm like, that's why I feel bad for my dad. Like that is the realest guy ever, but like. I, he's always alone i'm telling you bro like he is actually always alone but he's like the best person in my life and i feel so bad do you feel um, inspired by him yeah bro yes dude like bro he helps me so much with with my shit too not only with his plumbing but he's just a grinder bro do you like think with everything by chance he you inspire him that's one thing that he always tells me is like a lot of bad shit goes on in security wise and i always just never care and he always like was looks at that as like how do you how are you not scared when this shit happens? And I'm like, dude, I always say if it's me if there's some bad shit's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, and there's not really stuff. Like for example, Ron, if someone wants to kill you, bro, you're dead. You're uh, not. You're I not. Got shooters ready for me. I also have my. Okay, pills. okay, okay. But realistically, if someone comes to your house right now and shoots you through your window, you're dead no matter what, and it is what it is. And I'm not. No, I'm, I'm just being straight up with you. Oh, you if someone are. wants to kill me, I'm dead. <laughs> like I, if they like, wanted to no, bad enough, if so, they have well, more than yeah, enough exactly. info. Exactly. If they have more than enough info and they do not give. About their life and they want to kill you just because you will die it's like it's just hit my telegram um but yeah, so do you do you inspire him yeah yeah no he he always tells me that all the time bro hmm, that's good um, hold up, there's a dono to... sorry i can't hear you hold up i wanted to ask a question adding on to that one second siggy do you have a question um yeah i got a question i, want to add I think it's anything. genetics genetics and discipline Okay, sorry. He's got don't. He got a don't know. No, that's no, good. It's good. I'm trying to We're think. Good. What was I gonna ask before you asked that, Siggy? Something about inspire. It was a really good question. Does he inspire you? Uh, I've exactly. got. I've got a right. question, but it's off topic. So you wanna ask yours first? Yeah, sure. Uh, so obviously you're a. You could. Would you consider yourself a pro Fortnite player? Yeah. Okay. So when, because eventually oh, I found my ev I everybody's gonna have their day. It might be now. It might be in five years. Clip. You're gonna get washed, and you're gonna need to hang up the keyboard and headset. What do you see yourself doing after that happens? The thing you're gonna is, you're gonna take a break. You're gonna stream. Shit, you're gonna do YouTube. What are you gonna do, bro? I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna quit when I'm washed. I don't think I'm gonna get to that wash stage where I'm fucking ass. Mm, we'll see when you get I, older. <laughs> okay, but like, I mean, I was washed a year ago, and I came back, and um, last season I think I was the best player in, in France. I would confidently say that 100%. I was the best player. I'm sure you were. Um, I'm just saying, like, it's natural. I'm saying, it's I, I know, I know. no one in specific. Look at, like, the quote-unquote best gamers at one point. People can say Tfue shit, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. anyone, anyone who knows him during H1Z1 when he was younger, bro, one of the number one on the leaderboard, like, all the time. Like, these are players that, like, no one thought would ever become 
wash. Like, just genetically gifted, etc. Like, bro, like, eventually, it's just normal, bro. It's normal to get, you know, worse at games. So, like, where yeah. do you see yourself after so, that happens? Yeah, do you want to, like, go out on top? Like, you want to FCS and quit? Yeah, I think I think that'll be my, my like... Wow. I don't know, bro. Like, the day, I, the day I'm going to quit is the day I find something that not only go is go a better opportunity that is going to be, like... Better for like long term. Lacey, I would love to have I think you that's on the one. Only time I'll ever quit. Max or cap chat. This is when I find something better. I would love to, to have Lacey. And that's on more one beneficial. Like, let's just say, like, There's all right, like, I win at FNCS. It's all real. you motherfuckers are in Miami. This is a real podcast. And like, I have an opportunity to go good look for the sub. Chill with all of us for a year and then like do IRL content. Then no, I'm no, cool. Like, not fuck not it. joining the call. Yeah, we might do that I'm for talking a year. about later this I week. Come back to Fortnite and possibly like if I'm grinding 12 hours a day, like I feel like I could get back up. But like, who knows? But no, the, the thing is, like, we have I no clue what we're going to be I'd love to. when we quit. Like, Ron, like, you might get offered a couple million dollars to do some crazy shit and quit streaming. But let's just say, like, the opportunity is better than what you are you are now. And, like, let's say you were in your 2023 phase. You were already wow. sad as fuck low with blow, streaming. Bro. Nah, I'm saying, I'm being honest. You already, like, you already at your lowest point. Like, you already not. You're already not with streaming, bro. And you get a million dollars, a couple million dollar offer to quit streaming and do some other shit. You know how much money I was making off Twitch? I was... Eight thousand dollars a month, bro. Out. It was like two thousand to eight thousand, <laughs> and my rent was five thousand, and my food that month was probably like a thousand, and my like bills were probably I, I probably like literally was like, yeah, I was cooked, like really, and I lost yeah. a lot of money. That's that, yeah, yeah. I mean, lifestyle is expensive, bro. Thousand dollars chat. I was living alone, and I would DoorDash every night. I had, bro, that was when I was fat too. Like, dude, it's just the truth, bro. Like, I was. One cake for food is not a lot. I can't even lie. That's a. That's impressive. That's a lot, but I'm saying that's impressive. Like, bro, I'd be spending so much money on food. Yeah, bro, dude, as a streamer, bro, think about it like this. You want, you're putting question marks? Think about it like this, right? I'm home. I would sit there. I would never leave the house because it was an elevator. It was, the, it was like one of the top floors. It wasn't expensive that it was a top floor. There was no penthouses. It was just the top floor, right? There was no price difference from the first floor. But I would never want to go downstairs, right? Because it was like five floors I had to go down. I would DoorDash in the morning. That's $30. 25 to 30 dollars i would doordash in the middle of the day 25 30 dollars i would doordash at night 25 30 dollars be like 90 dollars almost every other day yeah almost and you got to eat every day so 90 times 30 oh, that's yeah, what um, uh, 2700 but it would i wasn't like i wasn't ordering that much but there'd be days where i order twice then it would be three times then it'd be two times or then maybe i would go out you know but it was a lot of money it, yeah. was, a, it was a lot of money and that's why I stopped though. I, I barely DoorDash. Like, uh, unironically, I know people like to troll, but like, I actually don't. I, I used to literally DoorDash twice to three times every day. Every Did day. Did your mom make you food? Yeah, my mom makes me food, but I, I basically will have her go out, get stuff, and I'll pay for it. And like, she'll just have yeah. money for me. That's one thing that I like. Dude, I would love to fucking do that, but it's just like, so, or you're streaming, you, you're hungry. Like, yeah, I should get a chef, I know, and all that. But like, I don't know. I just don't, I don't want someone in my apartment. If so, I'm be honest. And like, I don't like meal preps either. Okay. This is a good question that I want to add. So I talked about what I did with my money. What do you do with your money? Like, what are some things that you do? Do you invest? Do you buy fun gifts? Do you buy your friends stuff? Do you buy your parents stuff? You got yeah. some hobbies, some yeah, passions. Is... You a collector of anything? Yeah, Dude, you, like, that's a good question. Clothes, watches. Like, what do you What do you spend your money on? Oh, we know about them watches. I don't even have that many watches like that. Okay, Ron has more money in watches. Um, but bro, to be honest... I feel like last year I was like, I had a lot of money in my New Jersey property that I was telling you about, like a lot of money. Um, and I also like, I always have a lot of money invested. So right now it's just investments, a um, couple couple properties here and there. But like, dude, I'll be honest, past month, couple months been crazy. I have a lot of money just waiting to be invested into something big. Like I'm waiting to find, what I'm looking for right now is to find a crazy like, real estate portfolio that I could buy out that's like makes sense make it a little bit better and then make more money but that's like 10 million plus so like bro right now yeah, like, that's, a, like, that's, like an apartment building or something yeah that's that's the like shit I'm looking for right now um I was gonna do somewhere in Rutgers actually it was like dude it was like 70 beds for like I think it was 11.6 and we got them down to 9.6 and I was I was about to pull the trigger and then something it just didn't work out um but like that's the shit I'm looking at right now it's just something like that, bro. Cause I wanna like after the streaming shit, after this Fortnite shit, and after the social media, I wanna bro, I wanna make like a million dollars a month to doing nothing. Like goal. that I think that's the dream is doing nothing, spending time with my kids, spending time with my family, and like still just own businesses, making a shit ton of money, bro. So you don't you don't see yourself always like being a streamer then? 
I think no, at one dude. point, no one wants to, you know, do what they. I mean, I, I, I want to be. I want to be like a face. Other forty-year-old streamers. But I'm saying, like, I'm saying. Bro, but Sydney, you don't want to do. There's like, a point where, like, you can enjoy something for ten years, and then you're like, damn, I want to add on to that, and do something different. But I'm also doing it. You look at like old content creators, like they're still in the scene, but they're not in the scene. Like YouTubers, right? Like it's like the same shit. They build yeah. brands with it. It's like exactly. I want to build a brand. Like, bro, I want to have my community with me all the time. Have my have my like. Like Faze Banks, for example, he don't stream, but he pops in the social media here and there, but he's a legend. That's what I want to be. I want to be a legend, but then still have my real personal life. But when I pop in, they respect me and they and they watch what I'd be posting out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go on some fall off vibe. I want to go on some peak type of vibe where yeah. all these when I come back, they're like, yeah, let's go. Like, so you'll probably never truly retire then, like from social media then? I think, you know, I don't no, but I'm, I, I, know, I, I think I'll always post my life and what I'm doing, but to interact in a, in a way that we interact now, where it's like streaming every single day. That shit's yeah, it's normal. You don't want to, you don't you don't really want to yeah. be, you don't I don't yeah. think I'm I want to do that when I'm 35. Cuz not only dude it takes a, a toll. But you still want like, your uh, community obviously on other shit. That's that's the goal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I don't want to be like, "All oh, right, what should I post today?" Like, no, let's just say look, I'm I have got a good example. You look at like I don't know if this is a good example. This is like an example at the top of my head just cuz I I've I saw him recently. Uh, Siggy, I don't know if you can add on this. Like Mike, uh, what's his name? Mike. Uh, Mike. Yeah. yeah so yeah. he's a YouTuber. He was a YouTuber. Dude, you see the shit that he did? That's what I'm saying. He was a YouTuber, and now he opens a burger spot, but he still connects with his community. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this burger spot's one of the best. Like I, well, he, the amount of people that say it's the best. He still uploads consistently. But yeah, but I'm saying like he has that with his community now, where he doesn't yeah. have to upload as much on YouTube. That's just an example on top of my head. But there's obviously way better examples. But like. For instance, it's like that, you know, like if you want to do yeah. clothing, like you'll still do something with your clothing. With your Dreaming. Yeah. I mean, dude, I, I want to make this a lot bigger. And I think the one way to make this bigger is by spending more money. So I think I think recently. Well, you got it. In. So speaking of dreaming, how, how is that making your own merch? Is that something you always wanted to do? Is that something out of the blue random that you're like more money, like income wise? Is it have you always dude, wanted to I'm, make clothes? Were you interested in clothes? I'm going to be honest, I'm like, uh, like, bro, it was just one day where I was like, dude, I, I just don't like the clothes that I'm wearing. Like, why don't I just make my own clothes? I started dreaming, and like, now it's like, I love dreaming. Like, I, I really love every single thing about it, but I don't make money. Like, I really do not make a lot of money off of dreaming. It. Every, I, I, I don't think I've made shit on dreaming. Like, the revenue is a lot of money. But the profit, it's either we just, we, we really just be putting shit back in um to add to, to every single thing like bro i want to get an eu warehouse so bad i think that's the hardest thing is is, is that's the next step i think that's the next step of how we're gonna like become next level worldwide yeah bro yeah bro and like ugh, like i want to be able to ship shit right away like our shipping is like two to four weeks and that's fast for personal gamer uh it, like consecrator clothing brand dude but people don't understand that they, they just expect that amazon next day overnight shipping type of vibe you feel me are Dream you, is good. Are you happy with your life right now? Yeah, I don't know. That's a really good question. Well, what are you happy with? What are you not happy with? What are some areas you want to improve? Um, what areas you think you're good at? Let's start with that. What are you happy think, with life right now? Let's start with I that think so you like, don't think too hard. Bro, I think like... Well, wait, I, ask a question, sir. So just do this first, because you're going to think all over the place, I feel like, with this question. What are things that you're happy with in life right now? Where I'm at in life, my my maturity now as like a a person, like every single thing in my life, I'm I'm, I'm the person that I I could never imagine that I am at this age. Like, Go good look for the sub. maturity wise, the w people around me, I have the best people around me within like the clicks team, my parents, um, and all that. Like those are the things I really love in my life. Okay, and what are some things that you think are like? you were very upset at but it could still change but like it's just like damn this is kind of negative in my life right now like this is like i wish this should, shit could change or things um, you're looking to improve on <laughs> dude i would just move back to the east coast i don't i don't like it here at all um i think that's my biggest sadness is loneliness and the shit doesn't really feel like cody like all of dallas when i'm when i'm in dallas it feels like clicks i'll be honest it just feels like not stop same. work no not even just that like like, bro, all right, for example, if I if I don't stream, what the f am I going to do? I don't, like, I'm doing, no, like, I'm in Dallas, bro. Like, I have friends and shit, but there's not really much to do in Dallas. Like, dude, if I'm if I'm in Jersey, I'm like, all right, like, I'll go to the beach with my, my boys and, and chill and chill. And, like, that's what, where I wish I was personal is I would leave Dallas with all my shit and be back in Jersey. Like, bro, when I was in Jersey for a week and a half, I 
felt like me so well, bro. Yeah, and like that's it's, it's and very, everyone, bro. I went live. Very... Just thought I was drunk. Every, my, they thought I was high and drunk because I was so happy. But it was just me. Like it was actually like I me where I was so like, happy, bro. I was like you're nicer. Like you're talking to me. Like I, I, I would never like think you're like not trying to talk to me. But like you were reaching out more because you were happier, and that's normal. It's the same shit with me. I didn't reach out to anyone when I was like not sad, but when I wasn't as happy. It's just like you're locked in with your craft. You're not really thinking. Yeah, bro. Like, and and I mean, same with Miami too. Like the energy that I had doing all of that were just so. It was so amazing, bro. Like it was actually. It was just the best, dude. And I feel like now where it's like I'm in Dallas, it doesn't, let's just say I had all you guys out here in Dallas. I'd get that feeling, but it's like, it's it's me. Like I need to motivate myself every day, which I do, but it's not like I end a stream and I'm like, you're getting that feeling of like, go go and love life. It's just like, all right, the next day, let's, let's keep on going. And like every single day is right Yo, now. It's typing boring. watch it's time, you're going like, to get time out. Yes. And then hopefully yeah, you're going to do good enough. Yes. And everything's popping Hold off. Until and later, bro. Then, and go back to Miami. And then I'm going to have that. Kundalini where I'm just like happy as fuck with all you guys like living the life and then it's gonna be back like I don't like Dallas at all I, th I think I think my I think I'm it's not I'm not sad I'm always happy but I'm not like your, crazy uh, you know who are your closest friends would you say right now that you talk to where you're like damn you know like I can trust this person or like I, you know like you feel good talking to because a lot of people only know like who you talk to like online like who do you actually yeah. like you know interact with yeah uh, other than you, Lacey, Felder, <laughs> other than, other than, yeah, bro, I'm gonna be honest, I have a, I have, like, a couple friends in Dallas, like, Landon, um, I got some dude named Poke and Danny, they're just, like, they're, like, the closest ones that we always just talk and, like, get deep, like, Landon was one dude I met in Dallas that I think has been, like, the biggest, not only, like, mentor, but help with, like, the way I move and the way, like, I do, with, like, all my shit, like, he's, dude, he's so smart with his money. And like so smart with every single thing that he does. So I feel like I, those are my like real friends um, that I talk to on a like day to day basis. You know. Okay. Is, this part, of, is this part of the reason why you want uh, stable to move out to Dallas so you have a you know a, a duo? Because I'm lonely and I want to see him. Yeah. I was mm -hmm. just thinking. I was lonely. I was like, dude, like, why don't Ron just be pulling up for a month? And so like that that that's what I thought. Yeah, Derek, shut up, bro. Okay. I definitely I, I plan on going. I, I, I want to just make sure this house thing. If it's going to happen in the next two weeks, probably not. Realistically. Yeah. 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 If it's going to be like another month or two. Yeah, sure. I don't care. Yeah. Chat Lando too, but Lando is just more business. Of hey, course. Shout out everybody, bro. I know. I know. <laughs> um, What do you think, Siggy? Anything you want to ask? Well, that's the thing. You can't just like. Only certain people can be your roommate. Like. If you you can't be roommates with nobody that's like a father or nothing, like you can only live with a certain amount of people. Like Ron, he's pretty much alone too in New Jersey, and it would probably be a good uh, a good a good roommate to have because you know they have the same job pretty much and they know each other and they like each other. Yeah, I, I think that would be a good move. How do I would do you... anything to move back to Jersey, <laughs> buy an apartment, and just do everything I'm doing now. So with what you just said, like being alone, being with friends, how do you handle stress? Man, the best way to handle stress is bath, bro. I'm, I need to put you on, Ron. Huh? Like, Beth. I have to show you. Beth. No. Beth. Oh. Beth. Who, who's Beth? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, dude. I'd be taking baths, like, probably four times a week. With, like, I'd, I'd be setting up, like, five five candles in the whole entire room, a glass of wine, not in, in Germany. Um, And just, like, I have a pillow in my bath, like, not, like, a, like a bath pillow or the bath. And I have this like thing, this wood thing where you put on your bath, where you can put like your laptop. Your, God, you're so rich. <laughs> it's ten bucks. That's the one, and then your phone, and it's like, dude, I'd be there for like an hour and just you de stress so amazing, like so, dude. You forget anything, bro. Is this like Alone? a night thing or or a morning thing? This is this is at night thing. Is this after mm. streams? This oh, after definitely streams. after streams. Yeah, yeah. Got to be after streams. This is this is when you're like, yeah. Well, Ron, how do you handle stress? Taking the stable podcast. But really? usually I drive. <sighs> okay, well, you can still answer questions. This is your podcast. It's our. Mmm. Mmm. Driving is amazing too, bro. But the way I handle stress is I really like driving. You know, a lot of people think I bought the car just to buy it. Siggy knows. We've talked about this so many times. But, like, I bought the car because 
driving unironically, as cliche as it seems, like car, I, th I genuinely think cars saved my life. Like, something about just mm -hmm. driving something, like, I, I'm low-key getting, like, so corny, but, like, I get, like, not, emo like, sad, but I get, like, emotional thinking about it, because it's, like, true, mm -hmm. bro, like, bro, I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have, not even a nice car, just a car in general, bro, like, mm -hmm. something. It's like, it's like a hobby, you know, it's, like, something you're passionate it's about. It's the best, bro, it's fun, dude. It's literally the thing that I live and die for, and people don't get it, and people do get it, you know, people think it's a waste of money, it is a waste of money, if you want to think about it, it is, it's a depreciating asset, but it's, like, I really, but it's worth it, though. It is, and, like, for you, at least, bro. Therapy is X amount of money, gas is X amount of money. The thing I realized is like, I get to be alone, I get to drive, and it's not like in an unsafe way. I just drive. Keep drinking driving, dude. You're not Los Polos. But um, back to what I was saying. Um, okay. No, bro, I just, I really do enjoy driving. I think it's one of the best things I've ever invested in. My biggest investment is driving. Yeah. Like, genuinely. Yeah, because I'm sure the stress that you say, or yeah, the stress that you save and all that, the emotional reward you get out of that, it's pretty much priceless to you, right? It's completely priceless. That's why, like, mm -hmm. like, bro, like, I don't care if I have to fill, like, obviously it's different, like, if you're, bro, I, I, it's gonna suck, I don't know, but, like, bro, money's no money, bro, I will fill up my tank five times in a week if it means that I'm happy. Your yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll never get to the point where I need to fill it up five times, I'm over-exaggerating, but, like, bro. But that's one thing, too, bro, Dallas is so boring for driving, like, Ron, you're driving on these highways, it's just boring as Driving in Jersey and driving in Connecticut and like, dude, it's just beautiful. Like mountains, trees, like, dude, I'm telling you, there's none of that here. It's just flat, dude. It's just flat. And that's one thing too, bro. Like, I love that shit. Driving just like you, dude. But, yeah. Um, well, go ahead. Spe uh, going along the lines of stress and I guess therapy and emotional, I wanted to talk to, you don't have to get that deep on it, Clip. But uh, I've seen you mention it a couple times in your streams, and I think on a podcast. Um, and I know when you're playing Fort, you can't just randomly get to talking about this and whatnot. But what is your relationship with God and your religion, or God or your creator, whatever? And you don't have to get into like what religion you are and all that. But like, what, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. Well, you're religious, I would say, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's I'm your Christian. relationship with like with with God then, as of right now? What's your relationship yeah. with him? I'm Christian. I believe in God. Um, I definitely pray every night, but I do want to get closer. Like, I don't go to church. I used to go to church every single Sunday when I was a kid. Um, but now it's honestly just holidays, which, like, yeah, it's okay. I poop. But that's one thing that I want to want to get closer, for sure. Because that's the one thing that I always... When shit, shit's going bad, I just be thinking about, like, praying that it gets better because that's of God, I, you know? Hey, I didn't believe necessarily in anything at one point. And, like, I have my own... This is what Siggy taught me. It's like... He's, he told me, he's like, bro, because I, I never, bro, it's just how I grew up. My no, my parents didn't believe in God. It's just, it's just how I grew up, right? It doesn't mean that I don't, but I I learned to have faith, you know? I want to get closer because I do believe everything happens for a reason. And I do believe, like, there is something watching over me, whether it be a person, whether it be anything, you yeah. know? Like, there is oh, someone, yeah. like, and I believed in, like, praying for things. Manifestation is a belief. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. I genuinely believe in that type of shit. So it's like, I agree with what you're saying, like, so how do you, if you want to answer this, like, get closer, just like going Well, I was going to say this, I was going to say this to lead up to that, Ron. Yeah, go ahead. Like, how was it growing up? Were you, like, were you in a religious household a lot? Or, like, when you started getting popular and money, did you grow closer or farther? Or how was that like? Um. Yeah, I mean, I was going to Sunday church every single, every single Sunday with my family for, like, my whole entire life up until, I would say, like, until my parents got divorced. Um. But, yeah, I think... It wasn't off of money in the cloud. It was just my parents getting divorced. We just stopped going to church every Sunday. And ever since then, I just have not gone other than like on Christmas and Easter and, and stuff like that. Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna start going to church with my filmer, Lando, because he's just so religious. Um, he just got married yesterday, actually. Congratulations. He, he just engaged, but he's like, dude, he's the most religious person I ever talked to. And he's just like, it's, it's just amazing to hear. It's such good energy around him, bro. And um, I wanna, I'm gonna start going to church with him every Sunday. So I think that's how I'll, I'll question, get closer. Ziggy. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There's some things you want to talk about, clicks that people don't know about. You know, what are some things that's... that you, you know, always wanted to talk about now that you have company? And you got some nerd shit that you t that you like, like in private, that nobody would ever know, or or anything like that. Damn, dude. Well, it doesn't have to be nerd shit. It could be like I don't know, sports or like any like 
you like this one anime like this or anything shit. like that? Collect shit, you fish, you golf, like, I don't know, just something. What do you like, you know? Dude, really? I'm, I'm not really that confusing, dude. I don't know. There's really nothing. Nothing that, stuff that, that spikes you out. want to learn and do? That you haven't had the time to? Like, maybe the piano? Probably, yeah, probably, yeah, I was just gonna say that. Probably learn piano, to be honest. Hmm. Other than that, dude, it's just really, it's really nothing that much. Surfing, nah, uh, probably just piano. If I want to travel more too, this whole year, pickleball is dope. Yeah, I think Speaking traveling is definitely traveling is up there for everybody. It's just about, of course, not having the means to do it. But a yeah, position like yeah. you, you're blessed enough to where you can do it. Speaking of well, piano, music. How do you feel about music? Do you think it's something that you dude? That's love? everything, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Mm. Who's your favorite yeah, bro. artist? Who do you listen? What's to? your favorite genre? Yeah. Man, it's just Drake. I got like I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like, oh, what the dick? As cringy could be, like I could say like that shit changed my life. I'm gonna be honest, okay, like yeah, going fine. going through all the like hard shit in my life, like that shit. Listen to Drake and just like, it music changes your mood. Music makes you look at your situation differently. Like what's, if you're going through some bad shit in life, you listen to song. What's your favorite Drake song? Can I? Best. Okay. And Can I is the best, dude. Cause that's that's one song that I would listen to when I'm going through some hard shit and like just driving. Um, driving the Beamer and just listen to to that. And then, and then your favorite feel. Drake project that you could just put on and not skip any song, what would that be? Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what is the one where he's? Uh... Hold up, I know which. How one much is. time is this? No, no, no. no, no, no it's that. um. What's the one where he's it's... black? It's I love you, I love you. Uh... Take care. No, 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 no. The, the one where he's black. What's the one? Which one is it? It's the one. Oh, where Scorpion. Where... Oh, it's Scorpion. 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 That's my favorite album. Dude, I think is Certified it's... Lover Boys. What? Views. All right, all right. Certified Lover Boy when you want to be happy. Views when you want to get deep, and like no, not Scorpion, think about not like some like you know what I'm saying. Dude, it's that's the, the one where that, he's black. No, it's the one that nobody likes, or not nobody, but like a lot of people don't like as much. The one where he's green and shit and black. Huh? Bro. Green. Oh, Dark Lane demo tapes. Mm. Well, that's not really an album, but yeah. Uh, views is hard, dude. Views is so tough. Bro, Views, like, the beats on Views is, like, definitely, like, a driving type of song. Should be getting deep, too, dude. Like, that's... Let me ask you, Rick. What's the song that you listen to when you celebrate? When you hit that moment where you're, like... You have that... Do you have a song? Where you're when like, you win FNCS for the first time, what's that I, song bro. you gonna play? It's Can I, I'm gonna be honest. Wow. Cause, all right, I'm gonna be honest. I like to... When, when, when some shit's going well, I like to get sad. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if that's weird. Like, if, when I have some, like, great shit happen, like, after I got fourth in grants, I was so happy, but I wanted to get sad to, to bring myself in that, in that, like, point of view of looking back on all of, like, the hard work that I put into it. You know what I'm I saying? I wouldn't say it's sad. I would say it's more, like, emotional, grateful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emotional, not of, sad. It's the same thing. You get like emotional. One of mine that I like when I'm emotional, sad, or happy, or celebrating, or not celebrating. Can I guess it? Yeah, go ahead. Devil in a New Dress. Yeah, it's that song. Yes. Devil in a New Dress <laughs> is the song, was the first song I ever listened to when I got my car, both cars, uh, the Audi and the GT3, and I made sure to listen to it first, because it is something that, like, you know, I listened to when I was sad, when exclamation mark 2023 happened, when I was going through bullshit, and I would talk to myself, and I'd be like, dude, when I, when I finally win, like, bro, it's gonna feel good now, you know, and listening to that song mm -hmm. reminds you of, like, those shit moments, and it's like, damn, you came far. You know? I mean, look how back you are, bro. You know what I'm saying? I am the like, happiest bro. I've ever been in my life. And hey, I this is just the beginning with y'all. Yeah, knock on wood, yeah. obviously. But like, bro, I really, I really am the happiest I've ever been in my life. And dude, a year ago, I never thought I would. I mean, I always knew. But I didn't know it would be this quick. Oh, good luck for the sub. Yeah. My goat. Yeah. You know. I, mean, I, I That OG shit brought crazy, crazy bro, numbers. Yeah, it's just the fact and, that And I everything back, dude. Sick. Like, it did. So. It was crazy. Yeah. For bro. sure. Y'all, y'all were talking about this the other day when we we almost started the podcast, but uh, we didn't. And you were like, Ron was like, "Oh, say this for the podcast." So I wrote mm. it down actually. Mm. It's what is your ultimate end goal? Not only in streaming, no streaming. What is your ultimate end goal in life? Question to the both of y'all. Thanks, thanks, bro. Um, I'm gonna be honest, bro. The end, dude. I always say this, and like, as much as people could say, all right, bro. I want to be... Get cringe. Go ahead. We're not going to judge you. All right, bro. I want to be 32 years old. I want to have a beautiful wife, like, in love with, like, no arguments, like, actually, like, it's so in love. I want to have three kids when I'm 32, 33. I have, like, three to four kids. Um, 
I want to be so rich where it's like money. Like I want, like, I want like my kids, kids to be set for life, bro. Yeah. Like, like minimum, like a hundred mil, like that. Like I want to yeah. get there, and like I believe so confidently, bro, that all of us in this call, maybe not Siggy. <laughs> into you. What into you. the dick? <laughs> 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 no, nah, that, that that we'll get there, bro. Like I really think we're, we're gonna get there, bro. Um, and and that's the goal is just like make my kids have such a good childhood, bro. Um, but also work every single day. Like I'm always gonna work. I always wanna. I wanna make companies. I wanna like invest in companies when I'm when I'm at that level of life. Um, that's but that's like that's the goal, bro. Is just living the East Coast for sure, for sure. I've got similar goals. What's the ideal state in the East Coast? That's a question that like I'm gonna answer now, just because definitely Jersey, but like I'm answering that because that's the only place I love, like in Bentu. But I feel like as I get older, I'm gonna travel to more places and, and fall in love with other places too. Um, let me answer Ron, you. your turn. Well, my bro, my angle might be cliche to some, but my whole life. I've always been the type to give more than like I like to receive. Like I like helping people off stream that I don't even talk about still to this day. I've done in my community. Uh, I just don't like talking about because it it's me as a person. It's how I grew up. It's how my mom taught me. Yeah. Like I really want to be able to. It's gonna be cliche to some, but like I really want to have a wife who cares about me, and I want to give her and my son or daughter the life that I didn't have growing up. You know, I really want to be able to just give back to them more than myself. Because I really don't care about myself as much. And not in a negative way, it's just, I've always liked giving. It's just how I am. I, you know, mm. if I if I made, people are gonna say cap, if I made like, let's say a million dollars, bro, I would most likely give a lot to my mom, if not like more than like half. Like, it's just how I am. It's just, it's always, it's always has been how I am. You know, yeah. it's just, I don't know. I like giving, and so I guess my end goal, so I finish that, so I don't yap, is, to have kids, to have a beautiful wife, and give her and my kids life that, you know, I always wanted growing up. Yeah, bro. You know, I feel like that's the... Go good look for the sub. That's, that's my I, I, I want to be a young dad, too. Like, bro, I want to be playing, like, all sports with them when they're 13, 14. Like, I want to be able to run. I want to be able to, like, be, like, an athletic dad. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and, like, you know, like, I've already helped. I'm sure, obviously, you can add on to this immediately if you want to cut me off. Like, you have the right to, so you can say what your thing. But, like... You know, I've already helped my parent. You know, I've helped my mom a lot. I've got her a house. I've helped her. She doesn't want to retire, but I gave her money. Car. To, yeah, I've given her a car. I've given her money to retire. She doesn't. Yeah. But she doesn't want to. She, you know, all yeah. bills are paid. College is like, there's no debt. So it's like, you know. Yeah, yeah. I personally, I think retiring is overrated. Um, because when you really think about it, when you retire, you literally sit there for eight. And brought, instead and of working eight, ten hours a day. You're doing I don't nothing. I believe in retiring either. I think. Even I think. I think when you retire, your body actually starts rotting. I'm not even trolling. I genuinely think, bro. When I'm 70, if I make it there. You know, hopefully. Um, You're gonna make it there. <laughs> you know, you never know. But seriously, like, I, dude, I want to work. It might not be hard labor or like every day investing, investing. But like, yeah, it just might be some side business. Just having a goal, little, bro. Having some passion. Yeah. Some hobbies. You know. Yourself occupied. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah. That was a good question. But uh, yeah. Yeah, got to make sure the family's set. You got to make sure the family's happy. So what what if, to support them. Now, for people that don't know, if you, you're welcome to talk about it. If you don't have to, if you don't want, what do you do for your family? You know, like, you know, I've seen you buy your pa both parents' cars. I don't know if you bought houses for them. I don't know if you what mm. if you have retired, offered retirement to them. I don't know if you help with shit. You help, I know you yeah. have. I don't know if you have a brother. Do you? I think you do. Yeah, yeah. Sister, something um, like that. If you do anything for them? Are you comfortable saying how many siblings you got? Yeah, I got three. Well, three including me, so two. Yeah. Um, okay. but. I bought my mom a car, I bought my mom, I bought my dad a truck, and I probably gave like, I would say like 100 grand to both my mom and dad total. Uh, I gave my brother like 50 grand for his startup on his shit. And uh, that's that's all what I did. That's, that's what yeah, I did for the fam. Good. You know? You gotta make sure they're happy. They're always, they're always like, they always know when, if they need something and they're going sure. through some shit, hit me up and like, bro, I'll always, I'll always support them to the max, you know? Kind of similar, kind of similar, kind of similar to that. A lot of YouTubers and streamers, you know, they they hire people like Ron hires me, um, mm -hmm. but they got little teams and whatnot. You, you talked about it earlier with your clicks team, and then I'm sure you got like a dreaming type of team and maybe like mm -hmm. investments and whatnot. How many people like work for you, or do you pay at least some money to? How many quote unquote employees do you have, including management, including agencies, including 
Everything. Damn. Feldy, you in my chat right now? I'm gonna be honest. Feldy, how much people do we pay track. every single, like every single, month. every single person, every single month, including Vayner, including Dreamy, including Clicks Creative, including Twitch mods, including mods. I would save. And are you hiring? <laughs> No, nah, no. Nah, all right, maybe, maybe, maybe in that side. I would say twenty. I would say like realistic twenty. Probably twenty. How's your Damn. YouTube team? Do you need a new person like Siggy GG? Stop, 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 stop. Man, Ron, I'm pretty good. Same question to you. How many people are on my team? That's a good question. Yeah, because I feel like not a lot, not a lot of streamers and creators they don't like giving out the sauce like that, or they, you know, obviously so get I've, poached employees. Got two managers. Um, okay. TikTok of <clears throat> Mario. Shout out to Mario. He made a TikTok X Mark 2023 during the 300 viewer arc. He ran up a TikTok from zero followers Type shit. to 250 to 300,000. So, <clears throat> I re hold up, Siggy. I rewarded okay, okay. Mario. Uh, he's young. He, you know, I'm gonna expose him. Uh, no, no, don't, don't leak, don't leak, don't no, leak. I'm gonna expose him. For helping me with so much, you know, I give him 50% of my TikTok rev, and he makes more than five figures uh, a month. And he's young. It's because he was so loyal to me. <laughs> um, your TikTok pays that well? Yes. <laughs> what is your... Bro, I made 2K off of TikTok last month, and it was 100 million views. <laughs> My most amount of money I made off TikTok in one month was like... All right, what was it? Like 30 grand? And yeah, he, he got 15 of that. So, I mean... Drew, so, what are we doing? So, it was 22 grand. Yeah, so... Yeah, Clint, how much you make off YouTube? <laughs> couple hundred, I'll be honest. My YouTube's good. My YouTube's really good, bro. A couple hundred grand a month? <laughs> Oh, it's because I got kicked out of uh, the TikTok program and got back in. Alright, let me ask this. Uh, so let me finish this. Uh, and then I've got Siggy for my, my YouTube. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. And... What's my accolades? Hold up, let me finish. Siggy helps me with everything in life. My team. Bruh. Mmm, type shit. He helps with everything. Shit. He manages a lot. Mm -hmm. He gives me life advice. He's been there. He's just... I would say he's a big part of my team. But uh, let's see. Justin, I start, Darren, I started, Mario, I, Siggy. I started with the stage when he had 100k subs. Yeah. Now, then he, uh, we grew it to 1.2 mil, I think, or 1.1. That's it. Then uh, the second channel started it, zero subs. Some of, some of y'all in the chat were there when we had zero subs and we started it. Then we hit 100k pretty quick, and then mm -hmm. Ron did a 24 hour. Got now we got points, like. So I want to actually pay a couple. Now pay. we got like 450k. So that's my accolades. Good for you, bro. That's um, huge. I've got about like, I think five or six people. Yeah, yeah. I, I think don't I, just, have, I don't have as much just because I don't. You don't, don't really have the side the, the no, two yeah, other businesses that I have. No, yeah, bro. I mean, I'm not. Trust me, I'm very well, well aware I could have more and probably receive more and make more. But mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I'm just where I'm at. I'm very comfortable, and you know, I'm always open to new things. But like, I'm fine right now. But yeah, I've, I've got about yeah. probably five, probably five people. As popular streamers, would y'all recommend to younger people and people trying to start getting into streaming? Would y'all recommend for them to get as much help as possible early? Or no? No. I think people try to take advantage. Uh, I know yeah, some streamers sure. that are very taken advantage. Some streamers that sign shit that are taken advantage. Um, it's actually. Oh it's, my, yeah, like, dude. I'm friends with this one person. Sorry. I'd be no. careful. I just don't know if you want anyone's business, but, like, you can say whatever you want. I just. No, I, like, bro, like, I'm friends right, with don't someone say blowing, names. Up, blowing up crazy right now. And, like, bro, so many people try to, like, manipulate the. Like, crazy, dude. It's, it's actually insane. Like, this goes, yeah. Like even like celebrities, bro. It's just disgusting. Give me eight months. So this goes to the next. I have a perfect question right after this. But yeah, I think like the way I don't know. You gotta let shit happen naturally. Everyone jumps to shit. So this I've told this story so many times. This is a good story that I told. When I was 16, I was making 100 bucks, 200 bucks a month off Twitch. I think I was friends with you. Click. And I was like right before I was friends with you. I was making like 100 bucks, 200 month, bucks a month on Twitch. I had an offer. Of 17 grand a month at 16 years old. Oh, I remember that, bro. At 17, or 16, for 17 grand a month to go to Facebook Gaming. And that is crazy stupid money. That's a, what is that, Siggy? Uh, you, you know how parlays work. Is that a 1,700 plus? Like, uh, percent? Well, what the f like 17, nah, but yeah, it's like a, it's like, 1700 it's like winning the lottery as a small streamer. Literally. That's like 200 grand a year at 16. And I remember... Everyone was telling me to sign. My mom didn't, but like she was, she just wanted me happy. But I had management. There was like managers being like, "Yo, we need to do this." Lawyers, "Yo, we need to do this." Blah blah. And I didn't take it because I believed in myself, and I knew I would make. Money. Yeah, I remember you asked me that too. 
I and, remember that exact combo. And if I took that, I was permanently on Facebook before COVID, so it never <laughs> would have been that, and like everything. Um, it was actually the craziest. It gives me like unironically cliche. It gives me chills because it it was the craziest risk I ever took in my life. One of my craziest risks ever. Like. But it was definitely calculated risk, right? Oh, it really wasn't sick. This is before I. This is like. I don't even know if this was after I won FNCS, bro. I think this was like during like that. It was like the weeks prior. It was right before I joined BBG. Like this is like before I joined my first org. I don't know, but that leads me to my next question. Speaking of that, contracts and all that. What is it like? You know, you've been in a couple organizations from Misfits uh -oh. to NRG to uh, is it just Xset? Was there something in between? I think it was yeah. that. Just those three. What's it like? What was it like going through those at a young age, switching, transitioning, contracts? Was that that was probably like your first contracts? What, am I wrong? Those were like your first yeah. real contracts for like year. I think I got definitely manipulated a lot um, in my start orgs. Like for example, like Misfits had me, Energy wanted me. I got bought out for half a mil, and nobody knows about. Yeah, bro. And Somebody guess, clip it. Wait, I don't know. I can, we le can we legally say that? Just so you know, can you legally say we that? We got the exclusive no, no, chat. No, no, it's fake. I'm saying oh, like, it's all alleged, chat. I'm saying in GTA, it's all alleged. Like when I was in the, that gang, the other gang bought me off for half a mil, not even a single dime. Like that shit was like I was also 14, 15. Like bro, that shit was NBA just NBA breach of hell. That's no, how I work no. in soccer. I, I already said that once on my stream before. Oh. No, but um, hey, still clip it, chat. Still clip it, chat. No. <laughs> Same way with me. Yeah, go ahead. Actually, I'll let you finish first. But even even, even energy was it was a good was definitely a good org, but it's like shit, like like the amount of money that they make off of us. And like that we don't even know about within the deals that obviously we don't get cuts about but that, that's like that's what salaries for so i mean there's all orgs are, are are weird like oh yeah i don't you know what i'm saying well i mean businesses are just like each party taking business advantage business, of the other party but when you take advantage but, heavily is what yeah I'm you just you don't want to get over taken advantage of but there, i mean i'm sure you gained mm -hmm. a lot from energy as well and misfits and these orgs yeah, so sure. Sure. was it a complete yeah, bro, i know i mean i think exit is the one org right now that i'm in that's like actually like like they're homies. Like they're actually homies. Like I have nothing bad about them to say, other than the fact that like I'm gonna sign more people. But who knows, bro? Anything can fucking happen. That's why I say yeah. Now you know. I am of the phase. You know? So you're looking for new recruits. Um, streamers. Yeah. Look for the sub. Oh, well, see, so he's you're actually debuting soon. <laughs> Want to get him early? Hey, wow. Invest early. Stocks going up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um. Yeah, so those were your first shut up. Those were your first real contracts. What was that like receiving six figure to seven figure deals? Dude, for your oh my first god. Ever life? Like where you're guaranteed... Bro, I was on my school bus when I got my first misfits paycheck of twenty five hundred a month. I was on my school I was another flexing league. that shit, bro. I was flexing that shit. I was I was in, in, on my best bus and I was like, yo, I just got paid for my new job. Twenty five hundred dollars in my PayPal and like bro, they all thought it was twenty five K and like I just went with it because I was like, yeah, twenty five K type shit, type shit. I was like, Wait, 14, how, how, how was big 13. was this bus? Was it a short bus? <laughs> I just it was a short at how bad that was. It was a short bus. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no, it wasn't. That's terrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They they thought twenty five. Stop, 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 stop. Bro, I actually tried to hold in that lap. That was that was really bad. <laughs> Anyways, no, no. <laughs> that delivery was so bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyways, what was that like? You know, guarantee. Like, what, what, what did you do with the money? Where you were you like, oh my God, I gotta go buy some, uh, 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 I don't know, Gucci. supreme, nah, nah. supreme box logos? No, I just invested in myself. I just spent all the money to make my setup better. Okay, but after that, because every that, first off, every streamer and gamer and whatnot, that's the first thing. Wanting a new setup is like wanting a house when you're dude, older. Bro, once you get that I, setup, dude, out, what, were you, spend, and, what were you spending the money on once you got the setup? Jewelry, clothes, women, no, friends, nothing, shop bro. gold. Bro, I live with, bro, I live with my dad, bro. Like, I literally live with my dad. And, bro, Ron knows. I said this publicly. I made my first meal at 14. That, oh! th that, <laughs> Ron, you know that. Shut up. Like, all, everyone knows that. Literally, like, it's public. Everybody. Yeah, stop it's public, chat, bro. Stop chat. Uh, bro, but I'm in my first meal at 14, and dude, even 15 years old, when when 15 hit, I bro, I didn't wait, spend wait, backtrack, a single backtrack, 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 dime, bro. Backtrack. 14 million dollars. What is what? that like? How do you feel about what? What? Okay, well, what did you do with that money at 14? What? what do you mean saying 14 mil? I said I made my oh, first 14. meal at 14. No, at 14. 14. Oh, oh, 14. okay, my bad, my no, bad. I, I thought I, you I, I thought you were, yeah, my bad. No, uh, 14. Where was this money going? Let me ask the question. See, I had it. Sorry. 14, you have a million dollars. 
Mm -hmm. What do you do with that? Dude, but that's why I'm so out of touch with reality. If you want me to be 100% real. I I Go didn't ahead. realize. I, like, when I made that first mil, I was like, bro, I can't wait to get to three mil. Like, it was like a <laughs> game. Like, like it, no, seriously, it was a game. I didn't spend it. My dad, I just gave all my, my all mine is my bank account. So my dad, like, I don't know what to do. But just do what you think is best. And he would just invest it and, oh, and, and saying, leave like, a certain stop, amount of bank, of course. Laugh. And it was Whoa. amazing. But like, bro, oh my God, dude, I didn't do shit at all, bro. Other so you than thought it was like one, a game. Yeah, but then when you hit when you hit three mil, then you want five mil and then 10 mil. And then, bro, you realize so what was that you're, never gonna, you be, you're never going to be satisfied. You're never going to be satisfied. What and that's what the, I realized, bro. What was it? No, 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 no. I want to say it. What was, what, the was the feeling? Man, say it, man. <laughs> what was the feeling when you saw a million dollars? What does uh, that, that feel like? My Some may never feel that. But the thing is, Ron, is the feeling is different. Feel like? What when, did it feel what? like? Were you like, what the fuck? Or were you like, eh, whatever. Or were you like, wait, what? Transparently, it was the eh, like, I'd rather have. 20,000. I'd, I'd rather like win a Fortnite tournament than have another mill type of vibe. But I was 14 years old. Like, you don't realize how much money is like, you don't realize how much money is no, money. Like, until like, to be honest, until because un I was 14. But let's just say you're 18, 19, you're working nine to five at McDonald's or some shit. You're making like 40 grand. And then no. next year, you make a mill. You're like, holy, like, you look at it as so much more greater than that. Like, when y'all are 14, you, like, y'all don't even understand shit. Imagine, so you know what I'm chat, chat, you want me to give you a hypothetical? I have the perfect hypothetical. Imagine you're Dean with a million dollars. That's my exact <laughs> point. Dean is 14. Imagine Dean with a million dollars. Do you think mm -hmm. he would know what he's doing? He would be, he would be, a, he would be a felon in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yo, yeah, you got, yo, you just got like. would have been dreamed by me. What? Dreaming? Oh, what? Go ahead. No, but yeah, I mean, bro, you just, you don't really know the like still right now bro like i don't understand how much money i have okay, well, i don't well, understand let, let me like, add, any of this shit dude like i understand that i have a lot of money but i don't when, when people bro my dad like sees this money as in like hold like you're doing amazing i'm always just like i want to do better and it's just like that's the that's a shitty part about life and also the the, the best thing about Beauty. life is you always want to do better and you always want to one-up yourself bro um so how does yeah, someone like you one-up yourself in this moment in time what's the next big thing for clicks I wasn't Bro. doing. Oh, sorry. So I was gonna say, when it comes to money, nothing beats that first oh, twenty five hundred for Mr. He was on the short bus, correct? Yeah. Because that was your first. That was like the breakthrough, breakthrough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what was the feeling like when you crossed over from seven figures to eight figures? What was that like? You hit eight figures. No, uh. at the IRS. Let him answer. Uh, that's a fed no. question. I ain't gonna lie. No, no, I, I don't have to know. Um, man, not in the bank. <laughs> nah, dude, I, I, I've been doing good, but I think I think uh, definitely I had a feeling of like, I think I had the same feeling of the short bus, probably in January on my birthday of like Jeez. that. Well, cause Ron, I remember that one text, bro, about that one month. Like that, that was the feeling of like, holy. Kill that, that was another short bus moment, right? There, there's gonna be a public like in a year. I'll, I'll say like that was my best month. Uh, how about we make a deal? Everybody clip this. When you hit 10 mil, you tell us, and when you hit 100 mil, you tell us. Bro. Okay, well then it's just then I just like. I did not ride the short bus in middle school, bro. But we need to have like a code word, and then one day you just come on stream, and you're like See, bananas. Know, like, bro, if if only eight thousand. People heard it, then I would. But that's the thing; it's no. lower. If, if, you, if, I say, you, if I if I if I tell people what my yeah, best yeah, month it's perfect, was, it's, it's your GGs. When you hit 100 mil. Just say the N-word. Sorry, I got He does it already. <laughs> what? He might get, no, no, get pre-fired. No, I don't, bro. Because, I mean, bro, at that point, you lose nothing. <laughs> okay, 100 mil, will you tell us? Because at, at that point, it's like, who even cares? We already know, like... Yeah, yeah I mean, well, I, I think I'll be at that when I'm, like, 30, dude. Damn. I say 29. That's just me, though. I mean, yeah, dude. you're 19. Who knows, bro? Who Probably knows? earlier, knows, to be dude. honest. It could be next year, for all we know. You can come out with the next big Fortnite map. Tarsal's here. Did Jinx the end? That means Tarsal's here. Dude. Let me, let me look. Ah, oh, no. Oh. Ah. Uh, Tarsal Tar Tar wouldn't be in my stream if Jinx wasn't here. But, dude, having, like, having your best month. What, what was your best month, Ron? <laughs> hey, and then I'll, I'll do mine. See, I'm so transparent about this that the chat, are, thinks, the chat thinks I'm weird because I'm so transparent about this. They're like... I mean, they're the ones who like are the, the ones is, who fucking I've, helped you make I've, that. You know what I'm saying? I've said this so many times, and people just think 
I'm okay. Best month I ever had. Was this December? No, this was June 2023. Is... No so... way, it wasn't recently. No, no it wasn't June 2023. No, no it was joking. recently. It had to be recently, no, bro. It was, it was. It was. No, it wasn't. The Your best, highest? The best month I had. No I had, way. I had a gambling deal on top oh. of every mm. sponsor I had that month on top mm. of Twitch. I hate this. At one point, I was making over a couple. Uh, I would say probably like for a good month, I was making like <laughs> around like 150 a week, 150k. Jeez. That's 600k a month. That's insane. That's insane. That was probably Welcome my best. Sub. And I'm very open about that because of the fact I had a gambling deal. Yeah. But yeah. my gambling deal was taken away by Pokemon. I don't even want to go anymore. <laughs> No, that that's actually like insane. But when you're making to act like that's not normal for <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's no, nah, it's Click just trying to be humble. Someone give me a rope. Okay, but nowadays, yeah, I I I don't make close to that. No, I don't make any What the what? Just... what? No, sorry. Something just happened. Um No, I make I make good money. I make good money. But, like, there's, like, a thing where when people, like, the thing is, is, like, bro, I would be transparent. Like, when they know how much money you make, they're just like, all right, why the f*** am I supporting you're him very, anymore? Like, well, he already made it. I feel like, like you're, dude, you're different. What? I feel like... Well, in a way, that's kind of true, though. Well, that's why I tell people, don't donate to me. I literally, I, I have where donations don't even pop up. Like, I don't want donations. Yeah, bro, I mean, I, I tell my... Ooh, like, dude, a prime yeah, is different. A prime is free, bro. Like, like if you want to drop a prime, then drop a prime. But, like, bro, I tell my chat, if y'all are broke, why are you doing that? Like, don't, do not give me money if you do not have money yourself. If you're rich, then let's go ban for ban with each other and juice each other and shit. But, like, I don't know. Because you can support Clip for free. Watch a TikTok, watch a YouTube That's video. Exactly. Watching, watching us in, oh. is already supporting in general. No, I didn't even see that five. Get Oop, I didn't mean Devin. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, dude, go six, dude, 150k weeks. No, I, that's, that I didn't gifted. even know that. Thank I can't lie. I didn't know that was your best month. That. I thought this this recent December. Oh, this um, recent no, January no. was yours. Right now, it's probably my best month ever. Really, this month? Wait, yeah. for real? No I'll way. Much, bro, I'll, bro. See, I'll type how much because I don't like talking about it now. It's been I, seven days. Look, I'll show. No, not this month. Last month. Look, look. Oh. I thought I thought I thought you were transparent. Uh, yeah, but that's IRS now. Now we're talking IRS. We're getting what? too recent. What are you talking about? Don't they know how much money you make? A month? A month? That month. Hold yeah. on. This last month, yeah. Alright, we delete it. Go. Flicks leaked it. No, it's no, okay no, I did it. I don't even care, to be honest. I just... I'm not even kidding taxes. I don't want knowing how much I... <laughs> swear to God. Wait, but that's not even including... You're like, hot, bro. Like, no, a bro. Ziggy, that was yeah, you can't... Deals. How, how the f*** are you even avoiding? Yeah, I know. That's I'm what I'm not saying. avoiding. Don't He's not, nobody's not a, nobody's avoiding, avoiding but like, Bro, taxes know exactly how much I'm making bro like yeah, all right maybe sure. like I, oh just, they do like what hey brother you gotta remember you know you know what i am oh yeah you are right Those but, comments, um, let the, me tell you yo! what? anyways the irs <laughs> chat only thing guaranteed in life chat is what death and taxes chat the only thing that's guaranteed in life can i get a that... mm for that mm. <laughs> oh my god it's the facts no i actually got a fat tax break recently I got, Wait, why? I got a tax return. That's how much can I didn't make. Can you delete the methods? Yeah, no, I know I got a tax return too. It's insane. I was like, what the yeah. Let's go. Um, Method? The room, DT. Alright, back to what we're saying. Let's get on topic. I can't let's believe get, that, bro. Let's get serious. No wait, wait, wait. How much did you make in January, December? If that wasn't your best month. That's what I'm saying. January? Let me think. What did I have? Bro. Oh, it was probably like 20, 30 grand more than that. Wait, so you... That, that wasn't your, your best month. So you no, just fibbed. Did you say your best right. month was 2023? No, that, no, 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 no. First of all, that was a joke. Second of all, that no, what I wrote right now was last month. That's your best... That's not your best month, though. My best month, I just told you, was like either December or January. And it was what I just said, 20 or 30 more than that. Okay. A year? No, oh, oh, oh bro. a month. Yeah, yeah, gotta get oh, it. My God. I'm at, I'm at, I'm at that a week. No. That was big suck. That was big suck. No, that's crazy, bro. Bro said no, a year like that was bad, Ziggy. <laughs> no, no, no. I meant a week or a month. I was. I mean, no, talking Chad. about money clip kind of goes hand in hand. I do not care about we, Jason. We've all been seeing it, bro. I think it's time. 
I think it's time we address the allegations. We've What's seen the videos. Sign them out for the yeah. day. Oh, we've, we've seen the deleted Snapchats. Couple hours. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Cody Mayweather, Gervonta uh, Conrad, Cody McGregor. When are you gonna step in the ring? Man. Never, dude. Up. I'm gonna be honest. That's just, just that's just never. Just that's just just me personally. Like that's just just you know what I'm saying. Okay, let's break the ice. What deal did you have? I had an offer for four fights in one year. Every three months, it'd be one fight, a fight, a rematch, a fight, a rematch for a million dollars. It was 250k per match, but I'd have to give a percent to the, my manager. I'd have to give a percent to the fighting, etc. But I had two concussions, and that's why I didn't do it. So no, I, I never got a deal. Never got a deal. No, actually, no. Oh. I guess Feldy had a deal. It was double than what you just said. He said, "I don't even didn't even know we had a deal." I'm gonna be honest. What was your biggest offer that you turned down? Oh, I'll go first. <laughs> Why are you? Laughing? Uh, go ahead, Ron. Biggest offer I turned down, dude. It might be. I'm tr at the top of my head. It'd be the Facebook one, but let me think. No, like recent, like I've this never been year, offered by like... kick. I've never been offered by kick. Okay. I Yet. Been, I haven't been offered a real number. Um. I don't know. I honestly, NFTs. Any. Oh! Oh! I have a disgust. <laughs> good call. Save the kids. No, I wish. If I was a part of that, I would have scammed for sure. Chat. Well, I'm honest. I don't give a f what if. I could have made ten million dollars. I don't give. A f they know that though. <laughs> they know that. They would still support me after I took it. You'd be stupid to invest in stable yeah, Ronaldo no tweeting something. You just deserve to be scammed after that. <laughs> On God. Shout out um, to Xfinity. Really, bro? <laughs> really, Siggy? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyways, um, at the time, yo, Chad, do y'all remember when people were getting paid to make tweets or whatever? Like, yeah, dude, from that was ETH? insane. Uh, at, at one point, I had over a hundred different people willing to pay me individually if I made tweets, like sell my Twitter, <laughs> basically. Uh, this is disgusting. I took zero. I didn't take a single one. Mm -hmm. Uh, thirty thousand to fifty thousand dollars for one tweet, mm -hmm. and I had about a hundred of those, and I turned yeah, down every was, single one. It was insane. Yo, BPL, you're you're new here, big boy. I turned Fuck down up. every single one because I knew I was scamming to the point where it was like I'm actually a piece of shit. It's not like I'm mm. scamming as in like oh if you're investing in me, you're a dumbass. Like I'm getting a bag because sponsors giving me a bag. It's more or less like. I am quite literally like a shitty person, and I knew karma's real. I was like, if I do this, I'm gonna that's get. True, that's true. I, I, I'm gonna get such shitty. Like, it's just not me. It's just not me. Those yeah, it'll come back eventually. One hundred percent. Yeah, no, they yeah. would get suspended. I would lose oh, my. Oh my god, it was it was so much money, bro. It's it, the amount of money that it was in NFTs were insane, dude. Insane. Yeah, most people would have. Clay, you, you get any coin offers? Coin offers, dude. So much coin offers, but Let, let's hear some numbers. I mean, it was honestly what Ron's saying. It was around there too. To be honest. That was during my prime. So I mean. Yeah, that was that was, it was the same for me. Honestly, the same numbers and shit. It was it was crazy for sure. Um, but I mean, my biggest offer, my biggest offer would definitely be coin offers. Okay, this. Guy. Wait, what was your biggest offer? That was your biggest like offer that you turned down. Was that? Yeah, it'd probably be NFTs, bro. Fifty. Yeah, me said that's it. Yeah, right. No. Bro. No, I was just saying like I'm, that's not my head. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure like. I don't know. I, I think that was it. Well, you got that in Facebook. That's like 500 Why grand right I there. I turn it down? I told you, Rockin. I, I genuinely believe in karma, and I knew oh, that I was... I was offered 2 mil for an NFT thing that I declined, Feli just said. Gee. I didn't even know that. That's not the I biggest think, wait, I, I was, declined, though. I think I was offered something like that, too, but it wasn't 2 mil. It was like a lot, though. It was a lot. It wasn't a mil, mm -hmm. but it was like... It was a lot. And it was just it was just like... There's a difference between getting your bag, doing a sponsor, and full-on scamming, finessing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, look at look at Ops and look what he 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 cashed out and made a bag, but like he lost what what he loved doing. Um, same with like stretching all those Fortnite kids, bro. It's, it's just kind of what it what they Aiden did. Aiden did but milf coin, yeah, but I think they all that lost was, their Twitter too. Dude. I think I think Aiden doing milf coin was him getting a bag. I don't think that's scamming because first of all, to who's invest, gonna buy a milf coin? If you're dog. gonna buy milf coin promoted by Aiden Ross, bro. You deserve to get scammed. I'm sorry. It's that is called natural. Selection. I'm just well, I'm being here, real. I'm here to report, chat. Jesus, I did invest. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. But um, oh, this is really natural selection. That's getting a bag because it's a sponsor. But like, if he's doing yeah. like 40 of those where he knows that he's a scam, yeah, that's different.
Oh yeah, there's a difference between like spamming them and like manipulating your platform versus like maybe if Clint were to like have an NFT or something and he actually like put real work into it, I don't think that would have been a scam. Mm. Yeah, if you were actually And you definitely could have made a bag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it would have came with some negative connotation. But Yeah, I think Aiden told people not to buy it, that's what Lacey said. <laughs> I'm sure he did, bro. I mean that's what I would do, bro. Dude, I I'm telling you, unironically, but if I was part of Save the Kids, I would do it. I'm just letting you guys know. All my life, I would have. If I could cash out a couple million dollars, to, if you guys are buying Save the Kids promoted by Stable Ronaldo, that is your decision. I would have went live the next day being like, yeah, I cashed out $2 million for all of you. Yeah, that's that's a respectable. That's respect. That's respect. I would have had those old heads on Twitter who were like 60, like in my DMs, like, yeah. I want my money. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah. no, I mean, anything you want to talk about, Fix? No, what were we talking about? We were talking about biggest deals. Oh, we were talking no. about. Oh, yeah. Wait. Wamp. Wamp. I think you were you were gonna uh, leak something. Sick? Uh, clip. You were t you were thinking about some offer. You said it was bigger than two mil. That decline. Yeah. I mean, you I'm came up with the question. What was the biggest offer you? What was the biggest offer true. you declined? I'm not, I'm not gonna say what it is, but it was it was probably. It, it was ten. It was ten ten million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ron knows about it, right? Ron yeah, technically doesn't know about it. I think I got a feeling. I, I got a feeling. Yeah, my, I declined it for my oh, calm, bro. Oh. I declined for it for my, my, for my, for my community. The people watching right for, now. for the love of your community, you declined the offer. No, I, I did. I, I did. I'll be honest. I, I, did. I did. A mill and an SVJ for signing bonus. <laughs> I don't give a. <laughs> uh, but I think there's a time for that. Yeah, when there you're always older. is. So speaking you know? of that, you know, I don't want to keep you here forever, but good question. I do. Shut up. Yeah, good, Siggy. A good question. Um, oh my god, I just had it. Oh, are you excited for Miami? How do you feel about Dude. that? Dude, I don't know. I'm so excited where I think that's going to be my, like, like, end Dude. to Fortnite. What? Like, like that, that's that's no, where I'm Clippers like... get that. Put the sad music with no, it. No, like, uh, bro, I love Fort, but, like, bro, it's bad right now, dude. It's bad, well, well, What if it is bad for those for those who are watching dude, that don't it's know? It's just Z, 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 Like, bro, like... Like, do I'm trying, speech. dude. No, like, I'm actually trying to f my hardest right now. Like, I really you am. You were the age when I quit. Yeah! Can we, can we stop with the bottle clip? Yeah, you're yeah I mean... You're clips. Stop with the bottle. A bottle. bottle, bottle. Throw it on the ground. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Um, no, you're, but it's just boring. Age, no. my, my, my week in Miami was so fun. Hey! You were the age when I quit. Really? Uh-oh. So, I'm just saying, that's when I realized, like... 19 hard. might be the age. It's getting hard. It's not that I don't enjoy it, it's just right now it's boring. But like, it, it's also dry season. Like, FNCS, I'll probably get that vibe back, to be fair. Which I, I, I do think I'll get that vibe back. He's not washed like you, okay. So some of the content that you were doing I mean, in Miami... I am also good as f sure. the, con the content you was doing in Miami, like the camping stream that Ron was there for. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I think there was a campfire stream that you did, some IRL Dude, shit. That was so is much what, fucking fun. Is that what you would be doing immediately after if it wasn't for Fortnite? Literally what Lacey's doing right now without like the darling I'd be doing. Like I'd be Lacey's, Lacey's in my chat. I'm being straight up. I'm I bro, the girl con oh my god. I know the girl uh, content is like something it's like It's I a method. It's definitely a method. Oh my god, it's the method of death. But it's like but it's like you you already did that shit. Like like strays, no bro. Like Lacey's oh, killing it right now. Joke. No, my no, chat's just, just idiots. Chat. Right. Like, bro, abuse that shit to the max. But once you already abuse that shit for three years and and milk the Darla and Summer and, and, and all that whoa, whoa, shit. Weird sentence. Weird. Let's. let's Wait. No. 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 I said milk. Siggy. Oh. The fuck. Oh. What the oh. fuck? He Why said, are you thinking of bro? He said, no, 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 no. Milk, he said milk, Darla, and Somerset. Can we rephrase that? No, no, no. He no. said abuse okay, somewhere in there. No, I didn't. No, no, he said no, abuse no. the method. I, I said it. abuse the method. Milk. Okay, that's why I heard it. Okay, okay, okay. Not milk. Okay. But, but, but to be doing that like girl content and it, it's fun. It's, it's super fun. But like you kind of like grow out of it and you got like, kind of mature and you kind of watch something real. You know what I'm saying? And not just like on like the like the, the internet. Like, bro, Ron, Ron, you know, I got like, you got someone real kind of like I, I i got some real kind of but like it's something you don't really want on the social media and where people are gonna about? my girls and girls and content and all yeah, that it wasn't, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're never gonna put it you're never gonna put it on like the i wish i did you still did it and bro well no he's talking about the future my, oh. my cooking stream two weeks ago with sadie was not girl content respectfully that was authentic vibey cooking content that was not me flirting 
awkwardly in like that's why you like, the location. like it was fun it, that, that was fun with sadie i loved that with school. sadie bro Someone sadie was a vibe dude it didn't feel forced it wasn't me little jokes like that other than that it was really nothing i'm talking to this girl who loves e-section oh she loves it. yeah bro, that's story. crazy no no e-sex is amazing bro I, I will always vouch that uh it's better to do it not on face though to be fair discord is usually one word no i just i have cameras in her house no that's perfect what anyways <laughs> siggy how many e what? Oh, how, that's a good question how many bodies do you have including e-bodies Nah, I just can't answer that, bro. Okay, let's play over <laughs> under. <laughs> let's see. What's your E age, clicks? Uh, 15. <laughs> 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 How old is too old? Yo, stop, stop, stop. Yo, stop. Right. Okay, stop. stop. Ratings are going down. Ratings are going down. <laughs> <It's a joke. laughs> um, alright, let's, let's get back on topic. Um, I have one body. How many do you have, clicks? Siggy? I'm done naming mines. <laughs> no, nah, I can't. I can't say. Okay, okay. Over under 15 and a half. Under under. <laughs> 15 and a half. <laughs> Wait, so, what's the heck? Oh, no. I'm talking about bodies. I'm so talking about bodies. Not age. Not age. Oh. Not age. <laughs> Yo. Wait, wait. No, nah, not nah, age. No, nah, under, under, under. For sure. Mm, okay. You know what they say, Chad? Multiply by three. Well, mine is. No, it's actually. It's actually literally under. Literally one. So. One times three. It's literally one, Siggy. You know it is. I do not Damn. throw myself around. That's respect. Big respect. But mine, mine was just mine was just like when I got over my ex. So. I just, but this year, honestly, one. Think... No, it was not Dean, Pepsi. Um, wait, I just, I just never thought to whore around. Like, I, yeah. when I got broken up with, I was like, it's like Siggy told me, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Unironically, like. Bro, having like faith and just like working and like bro it's like i could have had sex i'm sure with like a woman i don't care to bro i didn't care to go out <laughs> serious like could have. yeah no you're right no you're right you're 100 percent right could have started just shooting dms out bro and i'm sure one of them would respond to the point where it'd be like yo well, let's fuck blah 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 like bro it's just it wasn't me it never has been me it's the same way in high school all my friends like not even shots of them it's just like normal it's like bro most kids will just hook up the hook up culture you know just kiss whoever bro i was mm. never like that the only reason i kissed one girl was because i was forced to by one of my friends because he wanted forced me, he wanted me basically to kiss a girl because i never did and it was freshman year and then oh Aww. Aww, that's cute ron kissing on the freshies what what the f okay that came out wrong that's really weird Jesus Split, uh what happened to your song the gunner one Dude, oh, that one too. Robot. Nobody even knows yeah. about that. Wait, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, he said the N word. <laughs> and he's white. <laughs> yeah, anyway. What uh, hell? Yeah. The robot said the N word, and it was a white. It was a white dude behind the robot. No, but Wait, what happened he, to your recent song? Oh no, he's not white. The robot was white, but the dude was black. The black rapper on a white robot, and the robot said it, and that's why the song got taken down. Um, bro, the other song, dude, it was just. I, I don't want to make that. I don't want to drag out the drama. You deleted it so fast, I didn't even get to hear it. Yeah, dude. I had to. Hellcats, oh, SRTs. <laughs> oh, it's the people created the idea. I didn't say it over there. Over that there. Was my over there, Siggy. You notice that? Over there. No. <laughs> my filmer that. said it. I didn't it. say that over there. No, I, I, I never said it. That was my filmer. <clears throat> um. It's been pretty good, man. Is there is there anything you like back to what you're saying? Cause we never actually you never answered this. Is there anything you want to talk about that you don't really like talk about? That you want to talk I got about it. your community? It's okay. This is a safe haven. No, seriously. Hey, 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 thanks. We're guy. not we're not gonna judge you. Ah, man, I don't really got I don't really got anything much, dude. Like, what's your favorite um, food? I stop. But yeah, um, just, you know, before we wrap it up, uh, uh, Siggy, I would like to do this segment where like, you know, I'm not gonna. We I think we all pick. One question the chat says. Three questions from each other. Okay. You know, we all pick one uh -huh. question that you want to answer. You know. Uh -huh. I free the plebs. Mods, chat? take off sub only. Let's let's get one question. Siggy, you pick one from my chat. I'll pick one. There's obviously gonna be some trolls. But... And then do I pick one from your chat? No, no, just pick one from yours that you really want to answer. Just hold it for. Oh well, yeah, I'll pick one from my chat. Yep. All right. Um, Nightbot. Bossabot. Anything. Mm. 
Think about something good. Think about the blue comment clicks on TikTok. Mm -hmm. They're going fast. They're going fast. My chat's frozen, I think. <laughs> Ooh. I kind of got a good one. Yeah, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Okay, you got one. Let me think of one for mine. Mm. Yo, Siggy, Siggy, could you get one from my chat? What the? No, because I don't really have a. I don't, I don't know which one to choose. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Siggy, please. This is a good one. I Siggy, you might have copied the same one. Please don't. Okay, you want me to ask mine first? And then yes. you can find one? No, 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 no. I want to say mine. That way you don't steal it. Well, I have my chat frozen. Like, I've, I have a pause on this guy's message. Ask it. Okay. How would you give advice oh, to someone? Oh, that wasn't mine. How would you give advice to someone struggling mentally in the world? What would you do? How do you feel about, like, mental health? Like, how would you give advice to someone struggling right now? You asking me? Yeah. I think that you, 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 let, it, you let it happen. You don't try to fight it. You don't try to fight the, the feeling of being that sad and shitty ass mental spot. It's like you're there for a reason right now. You know what I'm saying? You're sad and you're going through it for a reason. And I think the best thing you could do is work out and just keep on doing you. And I feel like that that light will will come. You know what I'm saying? Like it's only gonna come. There's only it's only gonna go up from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like the gym is also a good ass thing. But people would try to fight it by drugs and doing drugs because they're at a bad point. But that just puts them at a permanent bad point in their life. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's the worst thing you could ever, ever do. Okay. It definitely, yeah. Jamin, go to God. Siggy, what's yours? What was the question? I would ask your question, dumbass. Oh, oh, okay. This is a question to the both of y'all. And I'll, mm -hmm. ask, I'll ask Ron first, because I feel like he already has his answer. Oh, God. Um, since y'all are both creators, what is your one person, what is your, like, let's say, I guess if it was a stream or a video, Who's your one dream collaboration? Dream. Drake. Two. <laughs> <laughs> my okay, so I've got I've got I've got three people. One of them who passed away, unfortunately, that I always wanted to meet or collab with somehow, some way, or just meet. Are you talking about meet? Can I use meet as work with? Okay, so can I use who meet? who who would it be, and what would you do? How about that? Bruce and I'd suck his dick. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, so. First of all, one person I always wanted to meet was Virgil Abloh, rest in peace. Someone who I really looked up when I was younger. Um, but if I could meet one person right now that's alive... No, I, but you gotta do a stream with them. I would love to do something with Kanye, somehow. I wish mm -hmm. I could, so, I, so a Kanye stream. Obviously mm -hmm. it would never happen, but if I could have... Hey, never say never! If I could ever have something, I'd wanna, I'd wanna just talk to him, bro. Like, literally, like a real conversation, like... Like a pod! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wish... I don't know. I really do. Kanye is someone who I really look up to. People are gonna hate that, but like, he unironically saved my life. Like seriously, yeah. this, this, everything he's is a lot, bro. Go ahead, what's yours? Same question to clip. Same thing. Who is you your said. one dream collab, and what would you do with them on stream and if, or it would YouTube be, video? It would be, it would be don't Drake. Don't say Los Polos. I'm never gonna say that. I was gonna say Drake. 100 percent Drake. Bro. What would you do? Dude, I actually don't know. I would, I would just want to gamble with him. I'm gonna be honest. I think that would be so <laughs> much fun. Gamble. With Drake. Like, you're a big, you're a big gamber? What a shit ass dream. I'm scared. <laughs> Train wrecks already did your dream, bro. Hello, bro. All right. All right. Nah, bro. That, bro, that, what are you talking bro? Oh, uh, we're just kidding. Imagine we're in Turks and Caicos with Drake, chilling, glass of wine, and gambling. Notice how no one said Siggy. <laughs> Dude. What about you? Because I'm already here. Yeah, Siggy, what about you? Who's your dream person to work with? Uh, a dream person? To, oh, to work with or do a stream with if I stream? Both. You work with oh. shit. To work with? Okay, I fuck work with because I don't want to think about that. But I guess to oh, me, you're nervous. If I can invite one person on the stable and Siggy podcast, yeah. I think I think it's obvious. I think it's the goat. Los Polos. Cristiano Ronaldo. Jesus Christ. What? Jesus. What? When I get what y'all saying? G what does Jesus how, have to do with this? Is how are we supposed to get Cristiano Ronaldo? Our... Right, it's a dream collab, but we not saying it's gonna happen. <laughs> dream. Okay. All right. Um. So, clicks. What was y'all's experience with Dream? Oh, so All right. He touched us. Um... Anyways, what is your question, clicks, that you picked out from your chat that you'd like okay. to read out loud? What's the most regretful decision you've? Mm. 
you have in your life right now you from your really whole entire remember? go ahead hmm? i'll reword that oh. for you so it's better i'll ask you the question yep. All right, what's something in life that you really regret if you do regret it mm -mm. this is the part where you answer i got nothing well i don't regret i got an shit. answer i was gonna say i don't regret anything negative i don't, positive. I don't regret that Feldy. i think everything happens for a reason I think you're supposed to fail in life. Exactly. I think you're supposed to go through trouble, go through problems, and that's how you become a man. Or a woman. Or are they, I, that, are they mm -hmm. them in 2024? Stop. No. Sorry. Anyways. Oh, I agree, bro. Oh. I think for, I think for Clint, it's got to be the supported career code thing. <laughs> nah, that, that, that made me learn, dude. As of course, I lost a million dollars, but Okay, but learn. if you could go back and not yeah, do it, he, would you not learned, do it? But he learned. Yeah, of course I would not. Yeah, but I mean, Johnny Mustard and say, your ball you, is fucked. It doesn't take that much fucked. learning to not be an asshole like he's doing. That wasn't one, buddy. Okay, yeah. it was a toilet one where I put <laughs> lactose or whatever, yeah. and I ate her shit. All right, all right, yeah, Jesus. it would probably be that oh. one. My bad, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, it would be that one, probably. I would. I definitely regret tweeting that, for sure. Well, clicks. Well, Ron, thank you for having me. Wait, uh, Siggy, we're not, wait, for... we're not done yet. Oh. Siggy, oh, we're not done. We ask all our we ask all our podcast guests. Um, it's kind of a tradition we've been doing for the last um, oh, one episode. Um, we like to leave off with the quarter yes. of the day, quarter of the day from the uh, from the collaboree. Mm. What's so, quarter of the day? What's your quarter of the day from Clit? It could be anything. It doesn't have to be a quote like a you know an IG caption, but. Just some advice, some wisdom you would like to share. Doesn't have to rhyme. Doesn't. Have it to doesn't have to be your. It doesn't have to be you. Wait, no, wait. Literally, is my quote that's on my board today. Okay. All right. Wait, what? board. Um, I, have, I have. You want to see it? I mean, sure. Show and tell. It's a whiteboard. Right of course, there. it's white. I can't really like angle it. It says okay. manifest. Yeah. Do you see it? Let's just yeah. read it. Okay. I'm. A, I'm gonna read every single thing that it says. What up? How do I get this shit bigger? Okay. Congratulations, oh, says, one million. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So it says manifest, and then it says success, excellence, brilliance, love, peace, momentum, growth. And then it hey, slow under, down, bro. Slow down, slow down. Okay. Repeat it. Okay, okay. It says manifest, and then under it says success, excellence, brilliance, love, peace, momentum, and growth. And then under it, it's like a, it's like an arrow that says like, tells me that life is good. Like as much as I could get mad, life is good. And that's two quotes. It says, imagine if it could turn out better than you could ever imagine. And then it says everything will turn out how it's supposed to. Live, Those are two quotes. Live, love, I like laugh, that one. Ass quote. <laughs> that's the um. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. You saw that's, that Mario? That's the two that I, got I on just stole your joke, Mario, and echoed it, and everyone laughed. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's my quote. What's yours, Dave? Um, well, this is the quote that I go by. Um, well, this is one. One quote. day. <laughs> no, no, no. What a quote that I really go by is like. Uh, this is a shitty one though. What is one that I really go by? There's one. I did. Yeah, I think. I I'll go one while you think of yours. It's not really a quote. It's more so just a way I go about life. Chat, remember. You <laughs> Shut up. Oh my God. Say it, my. Remember when you when you wake up in the morning, you put your shoes on, put your socks on. <laughs> you choose. Listen, this is a good one. Why are you laughing, it's bro? This is actually a good one. This is actually a good one. See, the, the no, quote of blood of people no, like you. No, my whole chest is saying the box, so I started laughing. I'm just, my bad. Jeez. Go, bro. Go, go, go. My bad. Go, go look for the sun. When you wake up in the morning, you sit at the edge of your bed. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. My bad. My bad. I'm actually sorry. Okay, bro, I think we just ended, bro. We're, we're, we're losing ratings, see? We're losing Fuck ratings. Fuck you. If you wasn't invited, don't ask to, to go. go. Thank you, Cricks. And, and don't accept podcast invites. Advice, advice that's in the air. Thank you, Clicks, for coming. Thank you for the invite, bro. Are you staying on? Uh, don't host me. I'm probably going to end soon. Right, but gotcha. um, thank you, We appreciate everyone. you coming on. Everybody clap it up. Claps w in the chat. W's w in the w chat. Man. Episode so two much, has been man. completed. You know, you didn't have to do that. I really do appreciate that. I think a lot of we people... We appreciate it. No, thank, thank you, I, I, bro. I think a lot of people actually love the fact that you did this. It's like a whole side, bro. That some people no, I loved it. I, I really I really did enjoy it. I'll be honest. I, I always it, maybe we on. can do it again. No. Yeah, I'm, I mean, you're doing too much now. But yeah, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> maybe you could follow Siggy one. GG back on Twitter. All right, Siggy. I'm going to catch you, big dog. Uh, Siggy, I don't follow you? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just followed you, bro. Let's go! Yeah, nice. <laughs> let's go, dude. All right, clicks. Thank you so much for coming on.
All right, I'll see y'all. Thank y'all. All right, clip. Later, clip. Let's go, Shiggy! Oh! <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. My ass was tooted up in there the whole time. <laughs>